Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoahJ456, and ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we finally did it. I know everybody in the stream who is here, you've been waiting for a hot minute. Thank you so much for waiting over 40 minutes late, by the way. But the reason being is that your boy had to, had to pull off a little glitchy pie sunshine in order to enable some stuff in order to get the cutscene in classified. Because literally, basically, if you don't know, here, here's the situation, right? Here's the situation, right? Classified, the ending has been found, right? Round 150 is the only way that you can get this classified ending cutscene. The problem is, it is literally impossible to get to round 150 because Treyarch, their game crashes at like round 60. So it is literally impossible to get it to round 150. Now, the way it was found by the people, if you want to see the cutscene, by the way, it's on my channel. You guys can check it out. But, and the way that everyone who found the cutscene, the, the first in the world cutscene, the way they did it is using the glitch that I'm using right here. I'm not showing you guys how to do the glitch because I'm going to be the one taking the risk to get banned. I don't want you guys to get banned at all. Um, I really hope they don't ban me because this is, I, I literally just want to get the footage of the cutscene without the uh the cartoon mode i want to get it normal mode but uh basically what th what this is what this glitch is is it allows you to uh basically use custom mutations uh but still be able to do easter eggs in the game so would i be doing this if uh if treyarch's game actually let me go to one round 150 legit no but since that's the only way to do it right now and that's what they decided to make the easter egg like, and it is literally impossible to get even close to, I don't even think anyone's gotten to round 100 plus on this map. Uh, that is, that is basically the reason that I am, uh, I am doing it the way that I'm doing. Uh, do I condone this? No. Will I get banned for this? Probably. But, um, basically what, um, what, what this does is it, it, it changes it. It starts out around 50, obviously. And in addition to that, it, um... It starts on round 50, obviously, and then uh, it basically makes um, makes the, the rounds dogs only. So that's 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 basically that's basically what we're doing here. So, <clears throat> and uh, we're gonna be trying to uh, get the cutscene itself. Uh, it's still gonna take quite a bit of time. It's still gonna take quite a long time. I'm not even sure if I can even do it in one game uh, or in one stream because I'm not sure how long it's going to be. I'm pretty sure there is the, the number of dogs in the round is the same as the number of zombies. I'm pretty sure. So we are going to be getting a whole lot of whole lot of dogs. And apparently uh, the people who, who solved it, two out of three of them, uh, or yeah, two out of three of them actually blue screened before they could get it. Even with all these uh, these mutations and everything like that, they still blue screened. So, will I probably still blue screen? Yeah, probably. But you know what? It is what it is. It is what it is. I mean, uh, we're, we're gonna do. We're gonna. I'm gonna do whatever I can to get this cutscene and hopefully get it. Uh, without cartoon mode, because I would love to see it without cartoon mode, because I don't really like the way cartoon mode graphics looks for cutscenes. But, um, that's the plan, guys. That's what we're going to be doing today. And, yeah, I, I don't ask me to show you the glitch. I'm not going to be showing you the glitch. Uh, I'm just obviously using it in my game, and I think that's really lame that I have to do it that way. But, until Treyarch fixes their, uh fixes their their game arenas that is unfortunately going to be what i uh the the only real option that i have you know what i mean because i don't i don't want to glitch it i don't want to have to do it this way but this is literally what i have to do to uh to to do it so um i'm gonna try to find a better spot here um Actually, actually, if I stand all, all the way at the back of the elevator, it's not too bad. <laughs> I might need to. Get, I think I'm gonna go pack a bunch of the escargot, just because that is the uh, closest one. Mm -mm. It's not a glitch; it's a custom game. It's basically, I mean, it's basically just like I'm playing custom mutations, except that I it allows me to do Easter eggs in the uh, custom mutation game. If that makes sense. I don't, I don't even think I need box weapons, honestly. I don't even think I need box weapons. Dun, dun, dun. 
So, alas, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The start of a very, very, very long game. And when I say very long, I mean... I mean a very, very long. <laughs> Um, let's see, what all do I need to do? Because I do still need to, uh... Actually, let me just, let me just grab a new box open here. <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. Camp at the brew machine, just spam your gun. Uh, the brew machine, and just spam your gun. Wait, 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 which brew machine? Wait, which one's brew machine? Oh, the, uh... Is that the best spot to do it? I don't even know why I'm spinning the box here. I, I literally just need ammo. All the dogs die in one shot anyway. Just, just give me a gun I can run around with. Okay, that works. Whatever. Whatever. We're gonna we're gonna roll with that. We're gonna roll with that. Yeah, Pluto. How long did it take you to? How long did it take you to to do this? I feel like my dogs are spawning very slowly. I don't know if that's something I did. Oh, it's the end of the round. That's the end of round 51. Okay, so the rounds actually aren't going to take super, super long. That's nice. Yeah, uh, took took you six hours. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, I basically did a glitch that allows me to do Easter eggs while on custom mutations. So, again, wouldn't recommend doing it yourself. Uh, I'm not sure if Treyarch would ban people for it. I really hope they decide not to because literally the only re Wow, I'm getting torn apart by these doggos. That's the, that's the number of dogs that I was expecting right there. Maybe it was just slow because it was round 50. Holy dogs, dude. <laughs> Alright, I need to go. I need to go pack a punch. Holy dogs, dude! <laughs> oh, this is the number of dogs that I was expecting right here. Oh my gosh! Wow, that is... Uh, mm. Nice. When is the E4C? I need the juice. I need the juice. Please. Expect some big things come time smile. I got the juice. I got the juice. Let me go ahead and go down here. Holy cow, there's so many freaking dogs. I did not realize how many dogs there was going to be. No one is EE -E for C. I need the juice cap up. PS expect some big things uh, come time. Hey, thank you so much, Burks, Burnt Soda. Um, EE -E for C, obviously, is going to be uh, at a time later than the current one that I am at. But I cannot confirm nor deny when that said time might be. Which is probably the lamest answer I could give you, but that's the truth. Can't confirm right now what time e e when e e for c is gonna be. Sorry guys. Okay, this is not where I wanted to be. I need the the pack a punch part. Where's the pack a punch part? Why can't I find that room? There we go. Wait, what happened to all the dogs? Are they still up top? Perhaps Rick Toffen knows what this is for. Okay, let me go up to the this area. Yeah, Pluto, Pluto and his crew were uh, first to well, were uh, first to complete the. Wow, that was the end of the round. Okay, maybe this isn't gonna take as long as I thought. Pluto and his gang were uh, first to complete the Easter egg. And uh, honestly, in my opinion, man, like, I, I I don't think I don't think the people who solved it. Oh gosh, I don't think the people who solved it should be getting any hate whatsoever. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't think anyone who solved it should be getting any of the hate, uh, or, like, did it first should be getting any of the hate. It's not really, 
it's not really their fault that Treyarch, because like literally if Treyarch's game worked, then the game, then uh, the Easter egg would have been done a long time ago. Okay, how, did, how was I not supposed to? Um, like the, the, the people who were, who are like good high rounders and stuff like that would have solved it first had Treyarch's game worked. So you can't really, in my, in my opinion, you can't really, you can't really blame them for, for doing it literally the only way that they can possibly do it. You know what I mean? The, the only way that it can be done. I don't really, I don't really fault them for that. I need to get this pack punch built. I need to get the rest of my perks. And then we should be good. Holy guacamole, dude. That is a whole lot of doggos. That is a whole lot of doggos. Yeah, this is more the, uh, the amount of dogs that I was expecting here. Dude, I literally can't get through the door. There's so many dogs. <laughs> Freaking dog central, man. I'm just trying to get set up, yo. Rounds are going pretty quick, though. TBH with you. I mean, it is only around 50 compared to around 150, but still... That's just my opinion, dude. I, 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 I will, I would, I would say I would like to definitely, definitely give massive props to the first person who beats this legit once it's humanly possible to even beat it. But as of right now, it's not humanly possible to beat it, you know what I mean? It's not humanly possible to do it. So, definitely, definitely, definitely want to give a huge shout out to the person who does it legit first, you know what I mean? A lot of doggos. So yeah, I have two. I have obviously 350 health. I have instantaneous health regen. Um, or no, not instantaneous, but the shortest amount of time health regen. Uh, kills actually give me more health. Um, so I can just kill a, kill a dog to a. Wait, did I not get the thing? Multiplying a terrible. I have I have enough points to do everything, right? Yeah, I do. Actually, first, let me go down here and get the rest of my perks. <clears throat> so, we're in for a long stream either way, guys. We are in for a very long stream either way. Time slip. Oh my gosh. Uh, um, let's see here. Uh, what's the other one I need? All right, it's right there. Need that, need that headshot machine. Headshot machine right there. Pick up that. Let's go pack a bunch of all our guns and we should be good. We should be good. Uh, I just hear, I hear that super chat. Give me one second, guys. I'm just trying to focus up and not die. I mean, I do have 99 deaths. You can see that 99 right there. Actually, I'm not, I, don't, I don't trust leaving in Claymore here. That could be a possible game crash. And smile upon us. Traditionally, when we mess with teleporters, things go from bad to worse. Oh, a new location. Still, only one small step, Richtofen. Hopefully, next move is a giant leap. Richtofen. Yeah, in my in my opinion, dude, it's it's kind of it's, kinda, it's kind of a shame, honestly, that it had to be found this way. But I mean, it's if, if 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 you should blame anyone, it's on it's honestly kind of Treyarch's fault. And I, I do. I, people are a lot more angry about it than I am, honestly. 
people are honestly a lot more angry about it than I am. Like I'm not, I'm not even that. I like because I'm not a high round guy. I'm trying to get a. I, I just have kill one of this. What do you mean? Dude, this might be the strat right here. Holy the number of dogs there are. Can I get a different? Why do I keep getting kilowatt? It's like my sixth time getting kilowatt right there. Brain rod. Okay, whatever, we'll use that. Okay, brain rod. Let's go back over here. Is that everything we need? Are we completely set up now? I think we're completely set up. I think we are completely set up now. Glad we're streaming today. I bought my girlfriend of over three years a ring and then just found out she cheated and slept with someone oh, no. yesterday. Needed bro. to get my mind right. Much love. S man, bro, bro. I know, I know it's terrible right now, man. I know it's terrible right now, man. But hey, hey, it, like as as much as it sucks right now, it's much better. It's much better that you did it, that you found out and got everything, got everything out of the way early. As, compo as uh, compared to too late, you know what I mean? So hey, I know it sucks right now, but it may end up being a blessing in disguise, my dude. I'm so sorry, first of all, but second of all, dude, we got your back on scroll. Let's get some love in the chat for us, man, for sure. Shine Lucas with the $1. Thank you so much for that super chat, my guy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Luca Frank, what's up, dude? Says, what's up, no, how's it going? Gotta go soon, it's late, yeah. And if only I, Noah actually started his stream on time, am I right or am I right? <laughs> I hate myself. Um, let's see. Actually, this might be the best spot right here. Eh, not sure, actually. Uh, I think that the classified Eastern Rank must be completed on one, round 50 is completely bogus to me. I think Traitor should set the cap at round 50. I still have Traitor in the Black Ops series. Honestly, I, I really don't mind it being at 150 at all. I think it's actually a really cool idea. I really actually like that they made it on round round 150. It's different. We the, the, like it's different. The, the there is it was something we've never done before. My issue with it is that it was on such a high round when the game literally would would not stay sta like does not stay stable to that high round. You know what I mean? That was that was my that was my kind of like gripe about it you know what i mean i think it's honestly a really cool idea my opinion they should have done it at like round 100 or something e even like possibly attainable because right now round round 150 without doing what i'm doing here without doing this glitch is physically unattainable the game will crash around round 70 let alone 150 fun fact rounds 1 through 70 take as much time as round 70 to 100 so you can get through one, round one, 1 to 70 really fast Round 70 through 100 takes just as much time, right? And then even after that, I mean, round, I mean, round 100 to, you know what I mean? Like, it's not even close. It's just, it's just straight up like, it's just straight up like not possible. Honestly, I just want to see the cutscene in all of its glory and not uh, theater mode. And not, uh, what's it called? Mode. Oh, I could do the SOG, actually. I don't even know if there's going to be max ammos in this. Probably not, but we'll see. Uh, did you complete classified? Uh, well, it has been completed. I haven't done it. And uh, no one's done it legit, but it's straight up not, not possible right now. It's a shame. Um, nobody th see uh, the video about the Easter egg controversy? No, I didn't. I, 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 dude, I was playing Fortnite. I, I wasn't streaming because I'm just trying to get better. 
But I was playing uh, Fortnite with uh, Trevor May, Ninja, Tim the Tapman, and uh, Monster all morning, and a little bit of Cypher. Cypher, Cypher, at the beginning of the day. I, pl I played with them pretty much the entire morning, so. I did not. I, I was, I was fully, I was fully focused, dude. Wow, that was a really fast round. Holy cow. Your video sent me through so much. Thank you. Hey, Connor, I got you, buddy. Buddy, I got you, buddy. Thank you, thank you, dude. Uh, you now have Kisma. Honestly, uh, though, what is Kisma? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I actually read that, Doctor Mon Doctor Monty. I, hate you. I actually hate you so much. Um, what? Is, when is E? Oh, I read that one already. Uh, hello, hey kid, with the five dollars. Hey, I know I started my YouTube channel, but I was struggling to get subs. Any advice? No, Try doing something no, completely no, unique. No, uh, no, unique, no, something no one else has done before. Everything like that. Try, try making it like completely unique. You're my more more. Sorry, I can't remember. So here's how I'll support the channel. Oh my gosh, dude! Dude, holy crap! My name's Sam, and keep up the great work, and I'm twenty much love. Dude, easy, Hundo Bomb, easy, Hundo Bomb. Holy cow! Thank you so so much, dude. That is insane. Thank you so much, Dune Rider. Let's get some nukes in the chat for Dune Rider. My guy dropping the ninety nine ninety nine. That's what we love to see, dude. Um, because since transit, hey, it's transit, hey, since the transit days, dude, you're one of the few. I, I gained most of my uh, my audi my zombies audience started picking up around Barry. That was when I started really really taking off and on YouTube with around Barry. Thank you so much, dude. Uh, Thunder Poo Gaming with the five dollars super chat says I think it, uh, it would have been better, more like the Easter egg if they did around. Also, you're a great uh, streamer and zombie care, uh, player. You really good work. Honestly, dude, I literally couldn't care less. I literally couldn't care less if it was on round 350. As long as the game doesn't crash and, and the game actually works for that long a period of time. You know what I mean? That, like, my only gripe with this Easter egg is that it's so hard to get to round 150. Like, or it's not, it's not so hard. It's, it's literally impossible to get to round 150 because the game does not last that long. You crashed before then. I might go pack a bunch of the SOG just so I can have two guns. I don't have to run back and forth as much. Um, let's see. Uh, not, not trying to show off here, but BO4 Network crashes on PC. I used to play BO3 on the PS4, did all the Easter eggs, and I still use PlayStation players. Well, honestly, in my, in my, uh, experience, dude, it's been... In my experience, uh, like watching streams and everything like that, PC crashes just like it's the game's problem, not the platform. Cause I, cause I remember during the Easter egg hunts, everyone was like, "Oh, PC doesn't crash." I was like, "Yeah, I, I watched. I, I was watching PC players like the whole time when I wasn't streaming, and they were all crashing just the same." You know what I mean? Once again, once again, uh, I do not condone anyone using this, uh, using this because Treyarch is within their rights to ban you, even though it's their game's fault that I'm even doing it in the first place. They are within their rights to ban you. So, I, once again, I do not recommend anyone do that. Do this glitch, man. Do not recommend anyone does it. Turbo Takio is ready. Turbo Takio is ready. Fair warning, fair warning. I already mentioned it at the beginning of the stream. Gotta, 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 gotta let the boys know, dude. Gotta let the boys know. Uh, being a popular zombie streamer, do you have any connections with Treyarch or someone who can, uh, uh, who, who could legit explain why zombies are broken right now? Sorry, this is a stupid question. I mean, I, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't have like, 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 like basically, my, like the extent of my relationship with Treyarch and Activision is that I obviously stream and upload their game a lot because I love their games and I think this is one of the best zombies in years. Despite the obvious like QA testing and like crashing issues and stuff like that. 
despite those issues. Um, honestly, this is, dude, if you eliminate the crashing and fix some of the microtransaction stuff with zombies, bro, this is the best zombies game that's ever been created. It is so ridiculously good, dude. This zombies game is so ridiculously good. All it needs is just some bug fixes and it needs some microtransaction balancing. That's all it needs, dude. Puppers. Uh, I'm new to your channel. You've inspired me to want to uh, become a better streamer. If you have any tips and tricks, that that would be great. Keep up the good work. Yo, thank you, thank you, Elaine. Elaine. Um, any tips and tricks? Honestly, just get started. The, the number one people think. The, the number one thing people do is they just wait till they have like the perfect opportunity or whatever. You just gotta start streaming. Honestly, just start streaming ASAP. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. Thank you so much, Elena, for the five dollars. If you, oh, uh, if, what if you were close in blue screen? Then I won't be surprised. Uh, thank you, thank you, Tyler. Iron, uh, Path Kurt, thank you so much for that, uh, 9.99. Or that, that, uh, 9.99. Kind of thank you for the one. I think it would be better, more Easter egg-like if they did. Oh yeah, I read that one, yeah, under poop. I don't know, I don't mind what round they did it on. Uh, I'm new to your channel. You've inspired me to want to become a streamer. So if you have any tips and tricks, that would be great. Keep it Yo, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I, I just read that one, but thank you again. Um, and then fading anthem to finish answering your question. Uh, I, I just I go and I get to play some of the DLCs early, and I get to play the game early sometimes, uh, in order to promote it because I I do a lot for the game in terms of promotion. So they they invite me out. Game volume too loud. Too loud for me too. Let me see turn it up. Solid six, yeah. How was your day today, Noah? Oh, it was great, Peter. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Four dollars. Um, Noah, are you sure that we'll look at custom match mode? Uh, th this is a glitch. The, the, what I'm doing right now is a glitch that uh, allows me custom game match settings in a normal game. That's basically that's basically why this. The only reason why this Easter egg was solved. Basically, the only reason why this Easter egg was solved. Uh, no, I love your content. I've been watching for years. Bring out the salad stream. They give me endless entertainment. Thank you, Ollie. <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll do some soon. I'll do some soon for sure. I will absolutely do some soon. Uh, Salwal Clamp uh, says, much love from Germany. Thank you, dude. Jefferson, thank you. Uh, am I all cut up on donos? Did I miss any? I, I know I, I'm kind of moving around here. R. Jason, I hope you remember me, but hashtag blue screen. Right. I don't want to remember you anymore. Uh, 8, 8 p.m. says no a uh, long time. Uh, this is the last cost of stream. It's basically been out here in the game uh, in the UK, but I stay up for you. Uh, calculating you kill about 70,000 zombies to get uh, to get around uh, 150. Uh, GG man. 70,000 70, zombies? That's it? What do we got? What do we got so far? Oh, you literally can't see anything. Nice. If you got banned from this, how would you react? Uh, I'd be sad. I'd be very sad. Like, if I was just doing this normally, I'd be like, I'd be like, yeah, I deserve to get banned. Like, if, if I'm just doing it to do it or whatever, yeah, I'd be like, yeah, I deserve to get banned. But the, but the only reason I'm doing it, once again, is just because it's the only way to get this cutscene um, almost a month past launch. So... I mean, I'd be disappointed. I, I'd understand. I wouldn't cry too much about it. I'd just kind of make a video saying, hey, I was banned. This is why. Uh, and move on with my life. Go play Fortnite, I guess. Which I'm planning on doing anyway, because I, I, I had so much fun on Fortnite today, playing with people. It was actually mad fun. When this glitch is patched, legit, no one will be able to do it without... Uh, uh, with the crashes? Yeah, that's true. Very true. Bastion, thank you, dude. <clears throat> Are you gonna put it on cartoon mode to pre prevent it crashing? No, I'm not going to. I'm gonna keep it on normal mode and just hope I don't crash. Because I want to see the ending with that cartoon mode. That's the whole. That's the whole reason I'm doing this. I want to see the ending cutscene without cartoon mode. I'm 
I'm a bet around 100 blue screen. Wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Wouldn't be surprised. We'll see. Hopefully not. Can't wait to crash around 149. Uh, good luck. Lazy Thank you so much, dude. Uh, except not uh, thank you. Dude, I'm flying through the rounds now. Why not just take off Cartoon Mode around 149? Honestly, I kind of want to see if Cartoon Mode actually does help. Because basically, they, they, uh, the, the three people who did it, uh, only one person actually managed to get to around 150. And at around 150, um, or at around 147, two of them crashed. Using, and they were using Cartoon Mode. So I honestly want to see if I crash before around 147, then yeah, probably uh, that's, that's what it was. See the dogs, dude. Flying through the rounds, dude. Flying through the rounds. Absolutely toasting the rounds here. And in between, we get to listen to this elevator music. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Got to round one or two on this map and decided to end uh, cutting out the world first. Are you sure you really? Uh, are you sure you really, really, really actually made it to round one or two? Because uh, the, the world record right now on this map, legit, is like in the 90s, I think, because everyone keeps crashing in the 90s. The dog spawns are a lot closer together if you came from the other elevator. Really? Sure, there's pretty, there's a lot of, a lot of dog spawns right here. We'll try, we'll try next round in the, uh, the other one. I think, I think the, the other positive part of this is the, uh, ammo wall buys. But let me go, let me go buy some ammo and we'll see. Maybe we'll switch off. They should do a zombie snap where the Easter egg is the blue screen so no one would know the difference. Thank you, Amp Clam. Dude, absolutely toast and Treyarch out here. <sighs> I really like Bandolier Bandit as a perk in general. All right, after this round. Made it to 104 legit. For real? That's honestly very impressive if you made it to 104 legit. I think that's the highest I've seen. If you made it, if you actually made it to uh, round 104 legit, that's the highest I've seen. Sentry gun for the extra chance of blue screen. <laughs> Dude, I'm not even gonna throw my throw my stuff, dude. No point. All right, let me get let me get try this other elevator spot. Apparently, it's really good. Level, yeah, level two. Not the elevator we were looking for. So you're saying this is faster right here. I don't know if this is faster. We'll see. Can someone time this round and see how many, see how long it takes? Actually, it might be, I might be collaterating hitting more dogs with collapse because that because I, I think they are all spawning like in my field of view instead of uh, some of them spawning outside my field of view so maybe actually yeah your black ops one world record is not what I'm looking for here Ooh, that was pretty fast I don't know, chat. Oh, you guys are saying do do the uh, do it in the labs. That was pretty fast right there. 
Hold on, let me let me actually try. Let me let me try let me try down here. That was pretty that was pretty darn fast that last round. I don't know, I might I might I might just do switching between the two different elevators, uh, and then just buying ammo whenever I need to. I might yeah, I might just do that, honestly. I don't think this one's faster. faster I think, this, I think this is the play right here and then and so basically I'm just gonna rotate in between them at the end at the end of rounds and stuff I'm literally killing them before they spawn it's nuts. I think I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate in between the rounds so whenever this like if I don't have ammo any particular reason you enabled super chat again you had it turned off for the longest time. Uh, I'm doing a little thing with YouTube uh, that that uh, to pr to help promote it and everything like that. Um, show it off to more people and everything. Just basically like let ever like let everyone let everyone see what it is in a little and everything like that. Shoot, this might be the play in here. Holy! there apparently the dogs do not go big boom Go being so good is it's a it's a uh, explosive weapon. So I think I think I think this is the strat. Just do these back and forth. a lot of you guys asking if I've seen Milo's video. I, I can, I can, I can, uh, listen, I can listen to it and react to it and, uh, do that if you get, if you guys are down for that. It seems like a lot of you guys are interested as, uh, what, if I've watched this video. I haven't, I haven't seen it, but I, I can watch it and react to it if you guys want. I'm sure, I'm sure Milo would be cool with me, uh, with me watching it. I, I can message him just uh, just to be sure. Let me message him. Milo. Hey, would you be cool with me listening to your vid on stream and reacting? Send. Oh boy. That was quite a few boyos. Quite a few boyos. Mm, the video is 40 minutes? Wait, it's 40 minutes? Oh, babies, what is you doing? What is you doing? 40 minutes? Forty freaking minutes! Oh my gosh! Wow, that is. Of course, he will say yes. Well, I, I just want to ask, just as a just as a courtesy, you know, just as a cur courtesy. 
Is it clear to see? You have a long ways to 150? It's always a long ways to 150, friends. Uh, I don't think this, I don't think this is a half bad strat. Cause, cause, cause obviously the other one's faster by a little bit, it seems. Actually, we should probably time it. We should time it. We should do, we should time escargot only. I'm gonna find out which one's faster. Which strat is faster. Uh, stopwatch. Cause if it's, well, I know, I, well, it's gonna be like one round higher or whatever. I wanna see. Yo, One Punch Panda, thank you so much for becoming a brand new channel member, dude. Okay. Starting now. Alright, let's see how long it takes do this round in its entirety and then, and then we'll time it down at the bottom after this next round after this I'm gonna time the uh... oh wait what am I doing I, I'm timing this round what am I doing? Right, here uh, shout out to my best friend Evan yo Tony thank you so much for that uh, that $3 that one punch panda thank you so much for coming in brand new channel member enjoy the emotes and all that but all that jazz i keep frustrating when other easter eggs uh but i can never find a good group to help me uh when i'm the only one not to go down yeah finding a good squad is frustrating but hey it could be a good opportunity to practice on solo and then you can carry people even better you know uh dad hello it's midnight thank you um I remember when you played Dar Darwin uh, Project. Uh, me and my friend were donating to say it's, it's like no J's uh, receding. Okay, wait, wait. 115, huh? That's funny. Okay, 115 for that round. Okay, I was a few seconds off with that, but whatever. Um. Uh, me and my first thing, uh, Noah J, you're sitting here in line four, five, six. It's so funny. Wait, I'm so confused. What are you, <laughs> what are you saying now? <laughs> see, is this actually going to be faster is the question. Or is it just in my mind? Or is it just in my mind? Uh, you are gorgeous. Thank you, Wasp. You are also gorgeous. Ooh, okay, that is faster. That is faster. The problem is, is ammo. So actually, I could get the Spitfire and do the rounds with the Spitfire. I think the only the only problem with the other strat is the ammo situation. Ammo takes a lot longer. Cause the escargot is so good. Cause it's explosive. <laughs> so it, it was about 10 seconds faster. I just don't know if it's worth it because of the, ex the extra time it takes to go get ammo. Should have used mule kick, dude. Just mule kick instead of time slip. There's no reason to do time slip. Yeah, 
Yeah, once again, guys, uh, I am doing a glitch in order to get to do like it makes the game think it's a normal game when it's really a custom mutations game. So it enables you to do Easter eggs in the custom mutations game, which is uh, which is how I am like getting the XP and everything like that. Which is why I am not showing it because it is a glitch and you could probably get banned for it. Uh, so I'm not gonna show you guys and have that on my conscious that it, whether or not you guys would get banned. Um, and uh, the only reason I'm doing it is because it is physically impossible to get to round 150 without crashing right now. It is physically impossible. Most people crash around around 80 to 90 if you even make it that far. So it is physically impossible to get the cutscene legit right now. So that is the only reason why. Uh, I actually really like the cutscene though. I really like the round 150 Easter egg unlock. Uh, I think it was a really cool attempt to like do something for the high realms community, but obviously when the game isn't working, it doesn't really, it isn't really as cool as it's supposed to be for the high realms community. So, uh, that's, that's basically the sad part about it. And if I get banned, I get banned. It'd be kind of unfortunate, but I, I, I just, it would, it would make me sad because like literally the only reason I'm doing this is because of them in the first place, but whatever. Don't need, to, don't need to talk about it the whole time and worry about it the whole time. Okay, Milo said go for it. Jeez, but you guys said 40 minutes? 40 minutes? John just crashed on 80? Yeah, that's my exactly my point right there. Exactly my point. Alright. Let's let's watch a little bit of it. Well, if it really is actually 40 minutes, we probably won't watch the whole thing. But um, let's watch it. Where's the boy? It really, is 40 minutes. Wow. Uh, it's really annoying that I have to make this video. It's really, okay. let's, really. Let's, 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 I want to listen to what Milo has to say. But it's just the way it is, I guess, and. Uh, I mean, my hands has kind of been forced here. So, before we jump in, I want to say two things real quick. One, it's bonfire night in the UK, which means a bunch of people are going to be setting off fireworks. If you hear weird noises in the background audio of the video, I apologize. Secondly, I kind of want you guys to try your best in the UK? to watch to wait, the Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. You guys have a day in the UK where you literally just set off fireworks for no reason? Wow. Nice copying America. Wow, we do that for the 4th of July, man. Independence? Yeah, right. It's more like firework of the July. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'm just kidding. The video before you jump into the Milo says section skip to 20 moment, minutes. Just because it's going to be probably quite a I long, explain everything at the start. Okay, Milo's saying stick. I want to make sure that you're as informed as possible uh, before saying... you start debating people in the comments on okay, Reddit. Okay, so basically this is all this so is all stuff. Try your best that... if you can. Okay, Milo says in that skip to one minutes. sentence, that one little paragraph. They basically said, yes, we've seen all the blue screening, we've seen all the crashing, and we've fixed the majority of the crashes. That's the first line. Then they say, stability improvements across all modes often includes various crash fixes in zombies. Apparently, that's the second line, because we've still got this blue screen issue nearly a month after launch. Yes, when they posted these patch notes, October 24th, things had improved a little bit. The crashes weren't as bad as they were at launch. But you're still crashing around 30. You still couldn't go past 40 without completely just ripping your game. And if you could, if you managed to get higher, it would be maximum like 80, 90. You would crash on every single map. For context, I had nights where I would stream and I'd play three games. And every game would end in a crash. This wasn't just a freak event. It wasn't just the way I was playing. I'd be doing different things in all my streams and different things in all my games. And I would crash in every game. It was terrible. In that sense... Okay, so so basically, I, I so I'll, I'll just kind of add my commentary throughout. I think Milo is watching, so uh, so uh, I'll just kind of add my commentary to things throughout. Um, yeah, I, I will say I will say Black Ops Four compared to launch has significantly like bested the crashing issues. Uh, turn turn this down even more. Okay. Turn it down to four. I still want to be able to hear and everything like that. It helps me, it helps me play to have the volume. Um, well, I will say that the the crashing 
at launch was absolutely horrendous it has been improved significantly but that being said improving on absolute garbage is not an improvement a whole lot you know what i mean like uh, milo said he it's slightly improved i think i think basically with those patches and what they've done so far they have significantly re improved uh just general stability for the average game like i play more games where i either in the game or die before i actually crash nowadays but that being said i'm not going for round 100 runs and i think the main issue right now is getting to those high rounds still does cause a bunch of of issues and everything like that so what one counterpoint i will make is that treyarch has done a lot of work i don't think it's been like minor improvements i think it's been major improvements but the the issue is it's still got so far to go dude it has still got so far to go before it is a uh it is a working uh working product so i will say that I, uh, that, that's that's kind of my my first initial reaction so uh still got a still got a long ways to go for sure a patch notes they also talked about their enforcement policy they said hey guys here's our enforcement policy for glitches any player who abuses an exploit in game code or other established rule of play is subject to penalty extreme offenses Stop. will result in permanent suspension from playing the game online and you'll have your stats emblems paint jobs etc reset and you'll be blocked permanently from appearing on the leaderboards so they basically drop the ban hammer on you if you break that enforcement policy let's fast forward a bit more one week later to october 31st halloween there's an 11 gigabyte update for black ops 4 an 11 gigabyte patch that's pretty positive looking i mean 11 gigs there's probably some blue screen fixes in there that sounds like it's probably gonna fix our problems nope it didn't in fact it actually made the game worse what they did is they patched in their black market cod points system so you can now spend even more money on this game the even to date is still not functional one of the things that that update allowed you to do is pay 200 dollars to advance your way through the levels of the black market pass you also got the ability to buy single one use talismans in zombies for five dollars sixty each and if you used one of those talismans and your game blue screened no nope, doesn't matter no refund for you you lose the talisman which sounds like a great investment of your money to be honest five dollars sixty for a blue screen essentially pretty good the earn rates for nebulium plasma as well the equivalent of liquid divinium have been awful. uh I, I i don't think i don't think we need to offset the issue of the elixirs being too too i don't think we need to offset the issue of elixirs being too overpowered or uh too uh, expensive i don't think we need to offset that by blue screens i think it's something to note maybe um but honestly they're whether you blue screen or not they are too too expensive oh hold on martina just said she's locked outside coming okay hold on martina martina is actually locked outside give me one second here chat <laughs> hold on <laughs> martina is actually locked outside give me one second give me one second Love your zombie videos, smiling face with hard eyes. Keep up the good work. Can I have a shout out, bro? Blue screen while he's gone, all right. Okay. Um, 
What was I saying? What was I actually saying? Um... What was I saying? Don't know. Uh, anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think we need to offset the issue by saying you waste it when you blue screen because it's it's an issue by itself. And, I mean, I mean, I think I think all of us really like the game and we want the game to do well. And we, we, can, we just kind of want what's best for the game. And, like, I understand that, you, you know, so. It's a hard situation. It's a hard situation, man. And they were even worse on launch. Now, they did improve the rates, but they're still tragic. In Black Ops 3, you'd be earning like three, four times as much liquid divinium as you now are with plasma. It's ridiculous. Is it, and is it that, that high of a ratio? Is just less effective I don't think it's game. that high of a ratio. And like I said, that update, which introduced all of these things and introduced the COD points and all that sort of stuff, made the game less stable. It was that patch that introduced the ammo bar. That patch also broke the UI on PC, so you couldn't even see the goddamn game menus properly. It also meant that you couldn't equip hey, attachments World War II. your weapons. It okay, meant that nice. if you prestige the gun, you wouldn't be able to buy ammo for it off the wall. It introduced a slew of issues, and it did not fix the blue screens. 11 gigabytes, no fix. So, cut forward a couple days after Halloween. Rumor gets out, and word gets out, that the classified easter egg is not a main quest easter egg after all, and instead, the only way you can unlock it is by getting to a high round. The I didn't hear about this until like trying to yesterday, out high round strategies for classified. Now let's cut forward to November 5th, today. In the last two weeks, since they made the original comment about, oh yeah, we've fixed the majority of crashes, but just look for stability improvements across all modes in the bullet points, and there's your blue screen fixes. Since they said that, they've mentioned stability improvements once for zombies and they haven't given us a single, not a single, dedicated paragraph about the fact that the game is crashing this heavily. As far as we are concerned, Treyarch is not listening because they've done nothing to show that they're actually even aware of- mm. uh, I, I, I would say it's not an issue of Treyarch listening. I think they are. They are listening. It's the the problem. The problem for me is, and uh, I I get Milo's frustration and everything. I think that I think my similar frustration with that is the fact that they don't communicate it. Like, I I, I think I think them just them just saying stability fixes and stuff like that. I th I would personally I would prefer like we know the game is crashing, Treyarch. You don't have to get, like. You don't, you don't have to, like, hide it behind a... You don't have to, like, hide the fact that the game is crashing. We know, you know? So, in my in my opinion, I would love to see them, like, just say, Hey, so these are the these are the big blue screen bugs that we still are aware of, and these are the ones that we fixed, fixed in this update. Say, for instance, like, sometimes when you go for the spork, that is still crashing. Just letting you know. Like, I, like we know the blue screens are happening. You don't have to, like, hide, like hide the fact that the blue screens are a thing from us you know what i mean I, i'd prefer them just like give us the info and yeah so i i i think it's i don't think it's issue of them not caring i think it's just poor communication and maybe maybe they don't have the time or whatever they, they want to focus more on development rather than i don't know I, I i just think over communication is a good thing and right now we're, we're getting a little under communication on the the blue screens and everything like that um, here, let me take a quick moment to, uh, to read through some of these donos. Spartan pa uh, Pancake became a member. Thank you so much, dude. Razorblade with a $10 super chat says, can I have a shout out, bro? Yo, big shout out to you, Razorblade123. Love the numbers. Uh, love your zombies videos. Keep up the good work. Yo, thank you, Hogier Olmes. Appreciate that $22, or 22 Norwegian dollar super chat. I don't know how much that is, but thank you. Um, no, a long time watcher. Uh, shout out to my boy, Tony, for the last donation. Yo, shout out, shout out to Tony, dude. Poke, thank you for the 99. Uh, Pickle for Nickel says, how do I become a member? Uh, th there's a link down below in the description if you're on mobile. And if you're on desktop, it's just the button that says join down below. Um, what's your... Uh, hey, Noah, first time uh, donating great content. What's your opinion on the state of Black Ops 4 in terms of content such as cameras, weapon variants, etc.? I, I would like to see us get the same treatment as MP does. Maybe that's coming in the factions. Uh, but MP has such cool camos and variants and stuff like that. If anything, I would like to just be able to use the MP ones because I like grinded out for the MP ones. I paid for the battle pass for the MP ones uh, to get the cool stuff. I would like to just be able to use it. You know what I mean? But I guess we I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Um, 
been watching this SOE. I uh, finally got a job. Can you give me money now? Love you. Stay awesome. Yo, thank you. One Punch Panda. Absolute ledge, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Alexander Flint, I uh, just got here a few minutes ago. I thought Easter eggs were turned off for custom uh, zombies. This is, uh, it is a solo mode with custom mutations on it, basically. Solo mode with custom mutations on it. That's the only way that you can get the cutscene. And that's the only reason I'm doing this glitch is because this is literally the only way to get this cutscene almost a month after the game comes out. So if they want to reset me or whatever, so be it. It's kind of a shame, but whatevs, whatevs. You're sick, man. Been watching for a couple years now. Kilo, thank you so much for that. Two dollars. Not going to lie, I've not crashed on PC even after 40 rounds on Blood of the Dead 9 and classified issues related to consoles and memory master, uh, uh, memory management. Um, the I, I don't know, man. I, I I think you say, I think you say you haven't crashed, but I've heard plenty of people on Xbox, PC, and PS4, all the consoles say they've they've crashed on whatever on all of the systems. So, I don't know. I don't think it's specific to the system. I think it's specific to the game. Um, Cantor, thank you for the $1. Uh, it's called Guy Fox Night. Basically, in 1605, before 4th of July started, someone called a fox trying to blow up the houses in Parliament. And for some reason, we celebrate it with fireworks. Nice. Cool. <laughs> Sounds like a good holiday. I rolls. Thank you so much for becoming a brand new channel member. I love the classified was egg. Uh, egg was solved on one one dash slash five. That's actually that's actually a good point. <laughs> Thank you for that, Sam Parsons. <laughs> I like that. Um. Let's see. Uh. Okay. Is that all? We're caught up. All right. We're caught up. All right. Let, let's listen to a little bit more of the video. Talk about my reactions and thoughts. The fact that the game is unplayable right now. It is broken. I don't think it's unplayable. And it's kind of ridiculous seeing as as soon as they originally made that comment two weeks ago saying, oh yeah, look for stability improvements across all modes. I made a video straight away and was like, this is unacceptable. We need to be told my what's money being done face. to fix it's the blue screens because the entire game up. is not playable properly right now. And you're completely sucking yes. out Thank you, any Hagir. faith that the community have in the product by just ignoring them. And yet still, even with me mentioning that and other creators mentioning it, I hope as well, no word, zero. So apparently- Yeah, I, I, I think the issue is communication. improvements across all modes then. Well, yes, things have improved a little bit more, but still not to an acceptable level. I crashed yesterday. I was on round 67 on classified. The game crashed. The day before, or maybe two days before, I was on round 42 on classified. The game crashed. I was in the menus of the game yesterday. The game crashed. I was in theater. The game crashed. My buddy Chopper was on round six on nine yesterday, and his game crashed. I was on round 15 on nine. Game crashed. So clearly, the product is still unstable. The highest round that I had seen up till maybe today was uh, round 116 from Scotty on Classified. I think people have got a little bit higher, but no one's really got beyond around about 120. Now, word leaked out today that apparently the cutscene in Classified would be unlocked if you got to round 255 specifically. And so the side of the community that is super heavy on glitching jumped in and started trying to glitch the game to get to that higher round. Now, as I mentioned before, Treyarch had made it really clear that in their enforcement policy, any glitches like that just result in a ban. And so these people, I guess, were completely putting their accounts on the line in order to try and glitch their way through the rounds like this. I guess it didn't stop them. The gaming revolution today glitched his way to round 150 by making his game think that he was in a regular match, but this, actually this he is was what in I'm doing right here. or at least that's what I've seen on Twitter. Now, the thing that is stupid about this is that he had to go to round 150, okay? It wasn't 255, 150. That, in a regular game, is a lot of playtime. Now, I personally don't hate the idea of a high round unlocking an Easter egg. This is I what think I was that's saying, fine I think. at its core. I don't have a problem with that. What I have a problem with is the fact that Treyarch Tr released made a the game you can't that do did it. not allow you to complete it legitimately, but would allow you via glitches to complete it illegitimately yeah. and through the use of exploits, essentially. Yeah, I that, that, this that's my problem as well. If you're going to put an Easter egg beyond a certain round only, make it so that you can actually get to that round. Yeah. You plums. What are you doing? Which again is the How same reason. That's the reason that I'm doing. That, that's the reason that I'm doing this right now is because I yeah. 
shambles of yeah, a state. Yeah, completely agree on this point. Completely agree on this point. When they're saying you need to get to round 150 to get this Easter egg cutscene, and yet the only way you can do it is if you break the terms of service and risk your account being banned. What? Yep. That's the, the, main, that. the main issue that I have as well. You can all you like about 150 being too high. It was originally rumored to be 255. That would have been even crazier. But that's a design decision as opposed to a, I don't even know decision. A just stupid decision. Oh, like, gosh, Milo. It completely blows my <laughs> Milo, mind. Milo uh, roasting, they dude. that it would be acceptable for them to release the game in the state that it was in on launch and the state that it's in now even with the last weeks and weeks of patches where you can't get that easter egg cutscene you cannot complete that quest without glitching and hacking your way or exploiting your way and just doing it kind of the scummy route like it's ridiculous Treyarch's whole core philosophy from the beginning of the announcement for this was we're supporting the high rounds community 1024 is the new round cap remember all those sorts of things and then we fast forward to today and players playing legitimately like I was doing on stream last night crash on round 67 yeah, and my... there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. It's a joke, it's a farce and it completely once again takes away any confidence I have in Treyarch promising anything for the future. They could come around and say, hey, yeah, we're releasing this new thing in six months time that's going to be great for the high round community. Well, why should I believe you when your track record for this game has been this bad? There's just no reason. I, I, I feel like, I, dude, I, I, as far as what he was saying a little bit earlier, I completely agree on that, dude. I think it's, I think it's awesome, actually, that it, it's a high round Easter egg. I think it's really, really cool that they, that they did it in the way that they did it. I think that's a really, really awesome. I think it's awesome for high rounders. I would have even been happy with 255, dude. Like the person who unlocks that first at 255. Like, can you imagine how cool that would be? You are the first person in the world to reach around 255 on this map, or even 150 on this map, and you get an awesome cutscene. Unfortunately, literally the way that I'm doing it, the super easy, I'm not even looking at the screen, no skill required whatsoever, way is the only way that you can do it currently because of the glitches. I completely agree on that. I think it's, I think it's a, re I think it's really a shame. And I, I like, Basically, the I'm, I like everything in this. I really feel like Treyarch is doing almost everything right in this game. It's just the crashes, man. The crashes are just so unfortunate, dude. The crashes are just so so unfortunate, and they they kind of ruin the experience. You know what I mean? Because I like okay, chat. Minus the blue screens, rate like completely taking out any glitches, any blue screens, anything like that. Rate Black Ops 4 on a scale from 1 to 10. Like, I, they, it is an easy, like, 9, 9 to 9.5 out of 10 for me. I love this game. It's so good. The zombies is incredible. It's what we've been wanting. There's so many good changes. There's competitiveness in zombies. High rounders are getting Easter egg completion cutscenes. You know what I mean? Like, there's so much good, good stuff in this game it's just like hold on i gotta apparently i don't have any mods in the chat right now sorry chat sorry that you have to deal with these ch children spamming mods hello mods maybe if i yell loud enough my mods will come start banning everyone everyone yell with me mods 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 Because, dude, I, this game is so good. And I recommend this game to everyone who asks me how Black Ops 4 is. I'm like, this is the best Call of Duty in years. You have got to get this Call of Duty. It's just that the crashes, man, are so, like... It's almost a shame because it's like... I'm wondering how much of it is actually like the fact... <sighs> that they have... I don't know. The, 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 the fact that there hasn't been like a PS4... A new PS4 in a while or anything like that. So I don't I don't know man I I I completely agree on that point, hundred percent agreed on that point, hundred percent agree on that point. And and it's a shame because I know for a fact Treyarch hates the fact that there's blue screens in it. I know that the developers are just really really like not happy, I, and I'm sure the de developers are not happy that Classified got solved in this way either. Like the way that the way that I'm doing it. 
I'm, I'm sure they're not happy about it. I'm not happy about it. I don't think anyone is. But you can't really blame the people for doing it, like the, the people who figured out for doing it, when it's like literally the only way to do it. We're just supposed to not watch the cutscene until like that we should be able to access right from day one. We're just supposed to not be able to see it just because the game's blue screening. I don't know. So I, 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 I don't want to I don't want to blame the developers fully because I know they don't do like all the release dates everything like that, but So Okay, anyway, let's keep watching On top of all of that as of today November 5th Zombies still doesn't count towards the battle stream battle pass thing mastery camos are still not available in zombies There's still no weapon variants in zombies. There's just, still no yeah. proper leaderboards. There's still no factions Callings also were just face paints for a limited time. There were no daily, weekly, and monthly callings. That's just not in the game either. So it is feature deficient with still no word about when these things are coming. And we don't even know why they've made that decision to just not tell us. We just don't know. So at this point, I fully do not blame you if you walk into GameStop tomorrow and ask to return your copy of Oh my gosh. Or if you trade it in for Spider-Man, for Red Dead Redemption 2, uh, for Battlefield dang, 5. Dang, my, okay, my, I think my, I th so like. The has just released in an unfinished. <laughs> I think, so like, I, I'm like upset about some stuff, yeah. I think I'm like, I think I'm like here on my like, my, my level. I think I'm like right here. Milo's like fully ready to rip someone's face off over this, man. He is so upset about it. And I mean, I mean, maybe, maybe I'm being too lenient or whatever. I don't know. I, 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 I've done, a, I've done programming, so I have sympathy for the developer. I know the developers don't want this dude, and, and they, and the game, like, I, I know they don't get to pick the release dates, everything like that. So, I don't know, man. I, I have some sympathy. I, I, I think, I think they're gonna work on it. I think, I think they're gonna work. I think they're gonna make it better. So, I think, I think Milo's definitely a lot more angry. I mean. He's obviously upset about the blue screens. I, I mean, I, I am too. You could w go watch a rage compilation called Blue Screen Edition, but I still th the game itself is so good, and that's and that's that, that's my that's my takeaway. That being said, a lot of like he is making a lot of really good points. Let's keep watching. State, I guess Activision pushed Treyarch to release the game on October 12th instead of in November like they normally do, so they could compete with Red Dead. But it's meant that Zombies is not finished. It simply is not. not. The game is in beta right now. Uh, and I you shouldn't be paying now. $60 to play. Or $60. What am I saying? $120 if you're buying the Black Ops Pass and all the other stuff that they basically force you to get. to get the content for the game. You should not be paying that to play a buggy beta that crashes and makes you lose the stuff that you've just paid money for. The fact that there was a 50 gigabyte patch on day one should be evidence enough that the game itself at launch was not ready. They tried to squeeze in as much as they could after the fact. They weren't ready for that October 12th release date. And it's meant that what we have all purchased is unfinished. Because of all of that, like I, I said, if you it's walked into unpolished. GameStop tomorrow and you asked to game. return your game because you felt like you had been scammed and they're ripped on, off, they're working on polishing I would completely sympathize with that perspective. Like 100% because I mean, Activision sent me a copy of the game, and I still feel like I want a refund. It's ridiculous at this point. Gosh, the sheer number of misleading <sighs> promises that He's were made so to me at the world reveal and afterwards about the way the game was going to be on launch, and then the contrast of all of those promises with just the complete mess that we have had since the game came out. It's nearly been a month. The mess has not been resolved. The game is still buggy as hell and broken as hell. It's still unfinished. It's November 5th now. Tomorrow, Black Ops 3 will be three years old. And you can think back to Black Ops 3 and you bet your ass that game was nowhere near as buggy as this one. Maybe they should have done less maps That's on launch. Zetsubo, no Maybe Shima. Maybe they should have scaled back their ambitions <laughs> for two stories. I don't know what the solution would have been, but clearly somewhere in the pipeline, there's been a breakdown here and 
The game that we have received is simply not the game that I think that we all paid for. The community management that they've done has been shockingly bad. Where is the management at all? No communication with the Zombies players about the blue screens. None. Literally zero in the last two weeks. Stability improvements across all modes does not count. And on top of that, you've got this disgusting COD point system where they're basically extorting their player base to give them basic talismans in the game that you can hardly even earn? Yikes. And throughout all of this, this entire time, Jason Blundell has been silent. That man has not said a word. Not a single word. And this is the product that he ultimately is responsible for. And so Jason- Milo's attacking Dad! I'm appealing to you right now. I'm sure that you are acutely aware of all of the problems. But the fact that you haven't said anything, the fact that there's been no communication, the fact that the management of this situation from the community perspective has been so poor, is just a blight on the entire game's record. Ignoring the blue screens and ignoring the, the glitches and everything Step else, three. ignoring the bugs, you Purge need the to blight. talk to your community. You need to actually communicate with people, whether it's you or whether it's another dev, I don't care. All I care about is the fact that right now, you've released a product that is unfinished, that is quite frankly a joke, it's an embarrassment on your record, and you're Jeez. doing nothing in the public forum to actually communicate the fact that you are working on fixing it. And so it comes across as negligence, essentially. I don't care if it was decisions that you made that have ended up with this mess being released. I don't care if it was decisions that someone lower down in your team made or that Activision made for you. What I care about right now is getting it fixed. And I think that you really need to be proactive to actually deal with this situation or this will legitimately be the last successful zombies mode because the community oh will gosh. leave. People are already going and just going to play Red Dead. They're already going and playing Black Ops 3 again and other games. And you're going to keep that happening. And that tidal wave is going to keep on moving away from Shell Black Ops 4 safety, dude. if you do not act to save this game. Someone has to take responsibility for it. And it would be amazing if you just jumped onto Reddit or jumped into a video with a creator. It doesn't have to be me. It could be anyone you like. But literally just talk to someone on the record and actually explain what's happening. Cut out all of the useless drivel about secrecy, about, oh, I've got this cheeky sort of persona. Cut it all out, man. Because at this point, you can't joke your way through a misleading product launch like this. You just can't do it. So the question now, I guess, is how the hell do we move forward from here, right? Last time a controversy like this right, happened- Let me, let me, let me pause up. right here. So, geez. Just going absolutely in right now. My goodness. Um, I don't know. And and I'm kind of. I th I I really do think that me doing so two years of college in software development on like very very basic software, like I'm learning and coding, very very basic, has kind of taught me a lot about like appreciating developers and stuff like that. I I. At the end of the day, I does does games being hard to develop does that justify them the the game being as buggy as it is and blue screeny as it is? No, because because I mean at the end of the day you are selling a product and everything like that and you're you're hoping that your product works and everything. I I, I don't I don't think I don't think it's it's I I don't think it's fair to say they like on per they like on purpose like. The game, the game was like not polished on like purpose or whatever. Cause I, I, I think they, I think the developers care a lot and I think they want the game to be really, really good and everything. I just think the pro the problem is it's just obviously the game wasn't, wasn't ready by the release date that, it, that got set. So. I don't know. I, 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 I'm somewhere in between. I'm somewhere in between where my, like, the amount of, like, the levels that Milo's is at is definitely higher than mine in terms of, like, madness and everything like that. Um, and, and I think at the, the state the game is in right now, the only reason I think this is such a big controversy right now is because, uh, is because this round 100 thing. Because they, they have fixed, I, I, like, I, I mean, obviously I've raged at him, I yelled at him, everything like that. Um, I don't know. The, the, the controversy is definitely there for a reason and everything like that. So. 
but to, I, 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 don't, I don't think you can, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard because I, I, de I definitely see both sides. I definitely see both sides. And by the way, all the levels that I get from this, I'm not going to be prestiging for a while, I don't think. Just so those levels don't actually count. Like, I'll, I'll just play, I'll just play for like, like, like a couple weeks or a couple days, whatever. I don't know how much play time I'll do in a couple, enough to, for it to like justify me like getting all this XP when I'm, when I'm using an exploit or whatever. <laughs> but I don't know. Dude, I don't, I don't, like, like, cause I, I don't feel like I'm accomplishing much right now. That's, I'll say that for sure. I don't, like, I'm on around 98. Normally, I'd be so hyped if this was normal and everything like that. But it's a shame it's just, like, not possible to do normally. Dude, the, I, I think the highest satisfaction I've ever gotten from round 100 was Garad Krovi. That map was so satisfying to hit 100 on. Cause it was, like, it was probably the most technically advanced round 100 I, I did. So, uh, okay, let me see. You plums, thank you, Wander, for that too. How are you playing an unplayer playable game hacker? Oh my gosh, Co Cody, thank you. Uh, thank you, Hogier, for that 109 and okay. Uh, another 100 bump, maybe next paycheck on Broco. I'll love you know I have no regrets. Thank you, Revamp, totally appreciate you. <laughs> sure isn't playable with your other controller. Um, Fernando, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bop you, dude. Uh, Greg, thank you again. Moz, 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 thank you, Matty. Uh, Gabba. Or Gavaja says, no, if you know if you shoot a down teammate with a shield and blood, he gets revived. I got a trophy for it. Only 0.6% have it. Yeah, you actually can. I don't think I've actually gotten the trophy. Oh, I think I did get the trophy, actually. I'm not sure. No, but how, to, how is the system running at high rounds without it crashing? I understand it's a custom game, but has the change the system capabilities of running the game? Oh, and basically you're asking why you can get to round 150 in this custom mode, but not in... Um, not normally. Basically, it has to do with the length of the game, I think, and the number of zombies spawning in. Dogs aren't as stressful on the system as uh, zombies are. So, hey Noah, uh, how you been? I just thought after all the videos I've watched, it's the best I can do is support uh, Cam uh, from Camilo. Camilo? Try to say my name right. How's that warhead? That's all. I, that's what I got for you. Thank you. Thank you. Emergency Light says, Noah, I just joined your stream. I did two years of game design in college. I have a fair share of games and not, uh, just not doing what I programmed them to do. It was so stressful. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. I don't think, I don't think they purposely released a broken game. They obviously, like, had a time crunch and they tried to put a lot of content in it. Like, like, we also forget that we got a lot of maps on this. I don't know. I, 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 I'm kind of, kind of trying to just be devil's advocate here because I, I'm not trying to downplay Milo's points at all. I'm just trying to be devil's advocate. And like, kind of like, seeing seeing the good that we have too. Is there a lot of bad? Yeah. But is there a whole lot of good too? Yeah. So I don't know. I definitely I see I see both sides. I see both sides. One thing that I don't think there is a devil's advocate on is how expensive the elixirs are. I don't think there's a devil a devil's advocate on that at all. I think the elixirs have got to got to be cheaper. Um, how many li how do you have so many lives and health? Uh, it's a custom game. Uh, okay, the most- the- the least satisfying round 100 of all time, dude. The least satisfying round 100 ever. Uh, any news on the Easter egg? Keep it the good work. It is solved. It is completely solved. Uh, Connor. Completely solved. You have to get to round 150. Ace Infinity, thank you so much for coming to a brand new channel member. Uh, minus blue screen, BO4 or BO3, best storyline in game. Uh, I think BO4 is better, dude. If you, if you wipe aside all the bugs and everything like that, I like BO4 better so far. Definitely. Um, let me see what else am I missing. Uh, how's your no nut info for going? Thank you for the $3. Delete the dogs. Hashtag JC hates dogs. Oh, I remember that. I remember. Thank you, Heartbreak. Appreciate you. Appreciate you much. All right, let's listen a little farther. Stop blowing up into the hashtag say no to Black Ops Pass thing. And I've seen people discussing for this and saying there should be a new hashtag like refund bo4 i've even seen people on twitter doing hashtag blundle out which i thought was kind of funny to be honest but i'm not sure that a hashtag is necessarily the way to kind of get momentum behind any kind of movement here 
I think that as a community, we absolutely need to mobilize on this and we need to be vigilant for any more crap that they try to pull over our eyes over the next few weeks because it would not surprise me if they try to worm their way out of this and make it seem like it's not a big deal. But I really genuinely think, having been in this community for 10 years now, that this is one of the biggest deals and it's something that they desperately need to fix. And if they're not going to be honest and actually reflect on the problem here, I've had then zero this game will die. On Xbox with Simple. crashing and they got to round 54 on classified. Yeah, that's the thing though. You got to make it to around around 70 or 80. Then you'll then you'll get the crash, I promise you. I promise you you'll crash at the end, derpy lion. It's just just big facts, big facts. Uh eating beans that got the W mine. What are you talking about, Grob? Thank you for the dono. Uh, can you tell, uh, Jan Victor to stop making plans to get online? Thanks. Yo, Jan Victor. Get online. Thanks. Uh, no, you said, uh, my name right? Thanks, man. Yo, we got you, Warhead. Uh, how long, for how long are you gonna kill only dogs? Uh, until I get to round 150. It's gonna be great. How cool would it be if all maps got, had a high round alternative easter egg as a high round? I think it'd be pretty dope. I think it'd be sick! They just gotta fix the crashing. Uh, so, so to, to talk about exactly what, uh, Milo was just talking about, um, I think, I think the, the, the thing is, I don't think the solution is yelling over and over and over at Treyarch, hey, the game's crashing, fix the game, hey, hey, the game's crashing, fix the game. I think they are working on fixing the crashes as soon as possible. I don't think yelling at them to do that is going to do anything, you know what I mean? What I think is going to be, like, the biggest help or, or, like, biggest thing that we can change that they're not already doing and that they could easily do, because, I mean... Like, we don't know how big the bugs are. We don't know how hard they are to fix and everything like that. They're obviously going to try to fix those ASAP. I don't think there's any, at least for me, I don't think there's any doubt they're doing that. I think the biggest thing for us as a community is that we want more transparency and we want more, uh, we, we, we want more, like, we, we, we basically, we want more, we want more, like, communication. Because for me, that's what it is. I just want more communication from Treyarch saying, Hey, we're still working on these bugs. Sorry they're taking a long time, but it's complicated. Uh, like, like, Fortnite's pretty good about their transparency, right? Like, they tell us exactly when their updates are. Um, if an update gets delayed, they say, Hey, we found an issue with the update. We're sorry, but we're going to have to delay the patch and uh, come out and fix it sooner. If there's a bug, they'll post on Reddit and say, like, Hey, we know about this bug. We're working on a fix right now. You know what I mean? Like, e even if it was just in those, like bi-weekly posts that they do saying like hey here's what's the, what was in the game update today even if they're just more detailed they're saying hey we still have issues with crashing on high rounds on all maps or we still have an issue on round 27 on voyage there's a rare crash that happens just make a really long pace spin version of all the crashes and say what you're working on say what is in your radar and everything like that i think i think that's the main thing i don't know what, what do you what do you guys think chat what do you guys think What do you guys think for that as a... I, th I think, in my opinion, that's what we that's what we need to be vocal about and say. We just want more communication, and then we, like, like that, that's just, what, that's just what, what we want, you know? I just, I, because personally, for me, for me, even just being like, for the, when they keep, keep saying we're going to add master camos, like, I earned dark matter, I want to use my dark matter in zombies without having to use the glitch to get it in zombies, you know what I mean? Um... Like I, I would, I would love, I would love to use that dark matter. When they keep saying, "Hey, we're adding dark matter soon," like I want to know exactly when, exactly when is the dark matter going to come out? Like, you know what I mean? Like I, I, I want to know. I want to know what love is, Treyarch. Or, e or even like, hey, we're still working on it. We don't have an ETA for you guys, but right, we don't have a hard ETA, but we're thinking maybe like three or four weeks, and then. Because even if they give me a long date, I, I would rather look forward to a long date than have no date. Just no, say, like, coming soon. I would rather them say, hey, it's coming in two months. And I'll be like, sick. Well, at least I know in two months that I'll have it. Even if they have to push out the release date super far so they don't miss their deadline, whatever. And then, surprise, one of the updates they release it early. Freaking sick, dude. You know what I mean? I, I Like, I know it's, it just comes down to the same thing, man. Game development is hard. And fixing bugs is hard. So. I don't know. 
There's not much left, but let's listen to it. As well as that, it just will, and the community will die with it. So mobilization, definitely important, but I don't know exactly what the best mobilization route would be, because we've all been complaining about this since launch, nothing's happened. So clearly just complaining and making videos doesn't work. If anything, a little bit of controversy, maybe that's actually good for the SEO of the game. Get people talking about Call of Duty, maybe that'll help boost their numbers a bit. And that's clearly not the effect that we're going for here, we just want the game to be fixed. If anything, we could look at how Just Waiting has worked for us in the past by looking at a map like Gorod Krovi. Gorod Krovi has been broken, completely unplayable in that you cannot finish the easter egg for like a year? Nearly a year now, I'm pretty sure. You get to the end of the easter egg, just crashes. That's it. You don't get the trophy, nothing. Broken. No fix. So, clearly, Treyarch and just waiting mm, for a zombie that, that's not, that's not, not go a, hand in hand. It's not a fair not comparison. Going to be a viable strategy. They're probably not even sucks, allowed man. to work it on BO3 really right sucks. now. They're probably just, not even allowed to I've work on it. I've got to just keep going back to that Because they have to be working on BO4. They released a game where... I, I don't even think they're allowed to be working on BO3. I don't think that's a fair comparison. ...incentivized you to go to a high round, but the game was so deeply flawed, so deeply unstable, that... You could not get to that round without glitching and exploiting and breaking the terms of service. That is just ridiculous. It's just a joke. The product that the community have all bought now is also a product that is unfinished, it's unstable, it's deeply unsatisfying because you crash all the time, it's under-supported because there's no community communication whatsoever, and it's just... It's, it's, it just sucks. I just completely sympathize with you if you feel like you've been scammed. And to be saying that about this game and about zombies feels awful. It feels awful. I don't want to be saying that I feel like I've been scammed when I'm playing this game. That's terrible. I don't feel but like I've been scammed. What it feels like. it feels Am like I wrong? I don't feel switch. like I've been scammed. It feels like the most scummy thing in the world to say that they were doing all this stuff and then to just release a product on launch that was so inherently broken and then to not talk about it being broken and just expect it to just pass on by. It's disingenuous, it's dishonest. I feel like the community as a whole has been lied to and I mean, I have to talk about that, right? I have to just say that in a video and get it out there and start a discussion. And if that means that Activision turn around and they're like, ha ha, yoink, you're blacklisted, that's gonna suck. That's gonna be devastating for me. And if it means that I can't talk to Jason Blundell ever again, that's gonna suck. I mean, for all I know, the man might send cow dung to my door every Christmas now. Like, I don't know. I don't know how they're what? gonna react to this. I don't know how he's gonna react to this. All I know is that this is such a crappy, crappy experience for the players. For all of us. Every single one of us. It's crap. Because all your YouTubers now in the community making videos are angry about the game, which means that all of the coverage has a negative slant to it. It means that there's all this bubbling up frustration that just would not need to be there. That's gonna get into the minds of all of the players playing the game, watching the content, and it just means that no one's happy. No one is happy with the product. And that is really not what I was hoping for with Black Ops 4. It really isn't. Hopefully I've been clear in this video about the points that I've been trying to make. I've really wanted it to be constructive and actually critique it instead of just being like, this is just dumb, this is bad. Like, I've tried to actually explain why these things are so disingenuous, so dishonest, so misleading, and so just frustrating, I guess. I've really tried to get that across by giving you that kind of timeline I of events. Hopefully it's Since been clear. Yeah, hey, thank I you, Zero. I think the thing to do now is to talk about it in the comment section, talk about it on Reddit, talk about it on Twitter, Okay, well, I, 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 well, well, I may not feel as strongly about some of his points. He makes, he makes good points about, uh, a lot of the stuff. I, I, I just think going about it in a little, a little bit different way and, and just wanting, I just want more clear communication. That's, that's what I want from sure. Obviously I want the bugs fixed. I mean, obviously, but I mean, you can't, you can't like just magically make them, you can't just click one button that says fix bugs. You know what I mean? It's, it's a process. But that being said, uh, communication would be sick. I think I, I I just want communication from Treyarch. That's all. That's all. I don't know. That's that's what I want. That's what I want. Just communication. I'd be I'd be a happy happy boy if there was a lot more communication. Personally. 
and they obviously continue to work on fixing the bugs as fast as humanly possible. Um, let's see. What else could I watch? What should I watch next? I think I think John did a video on it. Maybe I'll watch John's video. Hold on, let me let me let me DM John. I wanna I wanna ask to make sure. And if I watch your video on stream, just reacted to Milo's. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if John's John's okay with me listening to it. I don't know, man. I I feel I kind of feel like I'm alone here, dude. I kind of feel like like obviously the crashes make me upset, and I don't know. I I feel, not alone. I I. I don't know. I don't think, I don't think, I think significant progress has been made and I think we need to give him credit for that, basically. Okay, John said, John said he's cool with me watching it. All right, Let's see. Uh, hey, no first donation, but watching you uh, since the first ever Shadows of Evil stream, I'm a huge fan from Chicago, keep it the amazing content, dude. Yeah, thank you so much, Ricardo. Thank you, thank you, thank you, dude. Burnsy Lad says, if you noticed that World War had three map packs, BO4 had four map packs, Black Ops 2 had five, four, uh, four map packs plus new town zombies, and BO3 had six. Um, so maybe we get six for BO4. Oh, I, I mean, I think we're gonna have the most maps ever out of a game ever on this on this game for sure. For sure, for sure. <sighs> for sure, for sure. Uh, RJ since it's hashtag blue screen, but how do you get your health at level 350 besides glitching? Well, you yeah, it's not glitching to use custom mutations. The only thing that this glitching does is allows me to complete the Easter egg in game. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, Darius became a member. Thank you so much, Darius. Uh, how would you feel about a dark matter equiv equivalent for zombies? Uh, I would I would absolutely love a dark matter equivalent. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. I I really am sad that that did, that did not come included in the uh, in the game because I it's even harder to get dark matter than it is for uh, than it is than it, uh, like a zombies dark matter would be so much harder than an MP dark matter. It's just sad that we don't have any rewards. MP gets rewards. Um, I'm I, I'm actually kind of mad you have to do it around 150. I was gonna get to around 200 in casuals, especially since zombies health camp, but stopped at 100 because I was impatient. I like like I was saying, I personally don't mind at all i don't mind at all the high round easter egg completion thing i don't mind it at all i think the problem is that the game was glitching that's that's i i actually really like that they did some, something for high rounds problem is high rounders didn't get it the, like the people who decided to glitch early did it and and that's obviously how we got found not saying it's the people who glitched his fault again i don't think it's their fault at all i think it's treyarch's fault for having the having it be such a high round and still like having it be such a high round uh to get the cutscene you know what i mean i think that's the problem uh gustavo uh they should they should use a new app uh and a way to tell it in advance what's being fixed in patch dude uh, whatever medium they want dude as long as I, I just want communication call of donuts thank you my dude derpy uh derpy leon thank you so much or lion thank you so much for becoming a channel member all right, let's watch John's and then uh, we'll probably, we'll and probably just... And this last part of the video is oh, going gosh. to be me oh, yeah, going yeah. on a little bit of a rant. And I feel that Triarch have got a lot of slack since this game released. And as far as a concept for an idea of a Zombies game, this is by far the best Zombies game we've ever had. No way could we ever predict one day we would get given not one, but two separate storylines happening inside of one game, with there being four maps to play on day one. That's incredible. But unfortunately, 
the game experience overall has been tarnished due to the unstable condition that this game currently is. I assume that they released this game earlier than the traditional Call of Duty release to try and beat some of the other competitor games releasing at the same time. Yep. Games like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Battlefield 5, for example. And I feel that releasing this game just a little bit earlier than it should have opened this game to it being a unstable mess. I've never seen a Call of Duty release in history be this unstable when it comes to just generally playing I think this the game. Has been the it one. is impossible for is there, anyone has there been a Call of Duty to get to around 150 in this game right now without it blue screening, and that is just ridiculous. There are so many instances where this game will just blue screen for no reason at all, and it's absolutely unforgivable. Easter eggs are still not a guaranteed complete because your game could crash at any given moment. Trug have increased the round cap limit to 1024, but you can bet that there is no way in hell anyone will ever get to round 1024 in this game in its state right <laughs> yeah. now. And after the multitude of patches that Trug have put into the game to try and fix these stability issues, I feel this is an issue that is rooted so deep within the game that patches simply can't fix it. And the only way to have negated issues like this is for the game to simply have just not launched as early as it did. It's clear the game wasn't finished and it's clear that the game yeah, wasn't I... QA tested efficiently. Yeah, I, 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 th I think I agree with John. I think most of the, most of the problems stem from the fact that the game was just released a little bit too early. I think, I think, and that's why it makes it hard for me to like, like get mad at the the actual devs themselves because they don't get to choose when the game releases. They go in, they work, they work their eight hour days. They probably work more than eight hour days trying to get the game as ready as possible. I mean, I know for a fact they work more than eight hour days when it's crunch time, trying to get this game as good as possible before launch. So, I I definitely agree that that's where a lot of the problems stem from. Not. Like, just not having proper time, ample time to test it and iron out all the bugs and blue screens. I understand that Treyarch want to keep Easter egg steps under wraps, which is why Easter eggs are not necessarily QA tested yeah, as heavy that's also as the main thing. game to is try that, to avoid leaks. For some of the that, that, that's another huge problem, I think, is that uh, freaking the QA testers, it's so hard for Treyarch to get good QA testers. Because the ones, like, they've had so many instances, even with Black Ops 4, they have so many instances where people just leak the Easter egg steps, they leak the Easter eggs themselves. The QA testers are, like, not trustworthy, and they ruin the Easter egg hunt for everyone because they leak Easter Like, that, 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 that happened all the time in BO1, having all the Easter egg steps leaked and everything. Um, and having the maps leaked and everything and even for bo4 part of the map got leaked beforehand the easter egg steps didn't, didn't get leaked thank goodness but the map the like blood of the dead got leaked uh, like a lot of stuff so that's another hard part is that a lot of the times it's the easter egg that's crashing because it's the easter egg that it gets t tested the least so i don't know Okay, let's look, keep watching. First encounters and completions of nine for people to have the second boss glitch for Blood of the Dead to just have an insane amount of blue screens. Voyage of Despair to have an insane amount of blue screens, which still happens Voyage, a lot Voyage of the time the before you me. even get to the boss fight. Voyage and now Classified, which has a screens. round gated Easter egg that is impossible to get to. I just don't understand Treyarch's thought process on this. I would be super happy if that Easter egg cutscene was round gated to maybe round 75 or something. I've seen some suggestions for round 115, and I like the idea of that, but that is still something which is probably not going to be achievable because the game will crash probably before yeah, you, you get to, to get, round 115 easily. You legit. could tell back in Black Ops 3 that Treyarch were testing round gated Easter eggs as round 50 on Zetsubo Noshima gives you the uh -huh, distant yeah. monster Easter egg. That was really, really cool. But to have the community looking for Easter egg steps for three to four weeks for there to not even be a Easter egg quest and more so just a round gated reward, which you can't get right now without glitching it. I just don't understand where the decisions were made here for that. I like the idea and people probably would have come across this at some point in the first maybe week of the game if the round gate was not so yeah, hard. Yeah, it would have been and found a lot faster. The fact that only faster. people that have glitched the game in order to cheat their way to round 150 just to get this Can ending leaves a bad taste in my Jessica mouth and just really makes me feel like the reputation of the game's just tarnished in a way. It's just 
a really weird thing to do, and I just don't quite get it. Absolutely love this yeah, game. Again, like I don't I think it's start, right to get mad like at the people who, the who solved it first of all. I don't think it's right to get mad at them. I think it's... Probably will ever have, you gotta get, I just feel like, like Treyarch should have taken their time with this. Give it a few I don't think, I don't think it's fair to get mad at somebody for getting the cutscene the only way that's possible. And then this ending cutscene completion wouldn't feel so underwhelming because 0.000001% of players are ever going to get this because one, there's not a lot of players that will actually go to round 150 because they physically can't. And two, the game's going to crash before they get there anyway. So what is the point? I really don't want to be negative about the game because I absolutely love it. I absolutely love Treyarch and I love Black Ops Zombies. This experience has just tarnished the ending for me. And overall has kind of given Black Ops 4 Zombies a bit of a stale taste just because of how emotionally damaged we are by just how <laughs> unstable it is. Yes, John. I think the bottom line emotionally is, damaged. Off, if you're These watching blue this have and emotionally to anyone who me. agrees with me or is trying to understand where I'm coming from, I think Treyarch just needs to be a bit more open and honest to us and have full explanations as to what's going on. Explain why yeah. these blue screen crashes are happening. Explain the issue that's causing them and just be a bit more open and communicative with all of us so that there isn't as much frustration. Yeah, There's been tons I of Easter egg steps in all of the quests which have been slightly altered as well. And that has all been without any uh, real explanation. Okay, I will Even say, I will say as to that point, Treyarch did do a great job of well, actually, no, I, I changed my mind. Because the ones that I was thinking of was the Blood of the Dead one. Uh, the ghost, the, the new industry's ghost, like, staying invisible for a long time, that was a glitch, and they did fix it. Um, and then on top of that, the uh, the lever in uh, Blood of the Dead, the lever ghost, that was changed, and they actually did fix that as well. So both of those things have been fixed, and I, I really appreciate that. I think I think what, he's talk what, what he could be talking about and what I'm thinking of is them adding in the requirement to doing the spork step, um, and then changing the vo uh, and changing the nine step where you have to activate the altar uh, after the like before you start the Zeus challenge. I really don't like that the Easter egg worked perfectly without these things. It was just like basically extra things that you could figure out essentially. It was just extra things that you could figure out, uh, or like different ways you could do it. The Easter eggs still worked perfectly. I wasn't a fan of them changing the steps just so it worked properly when, like, the, the Easter egg wasn't broken either way. So, because now all of our YouTube, like, every single YouTuber's tutorial is still wrong at its core. Like, for my tutorials, I basically just had to go and, uh, one, 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 baby. Uh, I basically just had to go and, uh, Put into the comments like hey this is how you actually do this sorry it's not my fault the steps were changed after launch basically you know what i mean so uh let's catch up with some more donos here i'm already tracer thank you chris uh zero can't be a number it, it is not a quantity it is the lack of quantity zero is no physical value zero is a number that, the same way that invisible isn't a color and that's why people don't like me birds are loud for that riveting ted talk uh, I just watched a video uh, on any game. Can you check out this video? I made a Star Wars Battlefront 2. You didn't link me the video, my guy. And I probably can't check it out on stream. Sorry, dude. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Attention all zombie players. Our dad Jason is being held captive by the evil blue screen army and he needs your help. The 16 digit on your credit card and the 3 digit secure. I hate you. <laughs> Noah, uh, yes, again, bug sucks, but I feel like BO4 is a great game for me. Personally, I haven't really had a good time since B, uh, BO4. Didn't like BO3 personal. Personally, thoughts and opinions. Yeah, I mean, I, I I think this is the this is the best one that we've had. The best uh, zombies game that we've had in, like, ever. It's just that it got plagued by bugs. That's really unfortunate. Uh, okay, here's my opinion. Until somebody gets a, uh, around 50, 150 legit, the Easter egg is still in clear. I don't know why people are using it to 150 and complaining when blue screen they glitch. It's not the gl- No, no you're, 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 you got it backwards, my guy. People are unable to do it legit. People are, are abs- You are un- a Physically unable to get to around 150 and classified right now without glitching or doing custom mutations. Like, so, and the only way to get the- the cutscene is using the glitch. That is physically the only way that you can get the cutscene on the map right now. That is the only way that you can get the cutscene, and anything else is impossible. And that's why that's why everything's happening. Thanks, Martinez. I'm gonna say hi, Martinez. <laughs> She's the best. And brought me to school. Can you hand me a drink, please? 
thank you. So I I, th I think that's the, I think that's the difference. I don't think people are mad. Like I I like it's just physically impossible. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hold on, I gotta move my keyboard out of the way. Okay. Uh, missed my donut. Oh, sorry, Ace Infinity. Can you react to uh, re Reed's video on Classified? Love you. Uh, I, I need to ask him. I don't know if he's online. I have to ask him. Uh, okay. Thank you. I see Burnsy. Um, Ace, did I miss yours? I don't see it here. Uh, Ace, I'm not seeing your donut here. Call of Donuts, thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't see it here, Ace. Sorry. Um, I don't want to talk. I'm on my, I'm in my Discord. Okay. Let's see if Milo wants to have a, have a chat. <clears throat> mm mm mm. So, <clears throat> waiting for Milo to join. I'm gonna continue to discuss farther while I eat. <clears throat> continue to discuss farther. Sipping that LaCroix, you already know, baby. Uh, Dark Gaming, thank you so much for the $2 super chat. Appreciate you. The Easter egg is pretty under underwhelming to say. The e the cutscene? The cutscene is sick for this map. Unfortunately, no one's freaking talking about the cutscene. Everyone's talking about how it was obtained. Because it was impossible to do legit. That's the sad part. That's the real tragedy. Okay, Milo said he'll be here uh, in 60 seconds. What, what, what did what did Reed say about it in his video? What you're eating? I literally don't even know. It's delicious though. It's something healthy. Uh, personally, the blue screens, uh, personally, the blue screens haven't really ruined the game for me. Uh, I, I think it sucks when it happens, but the end trigger's gonna fix it. Not everything can be perfect. Well, was, uh, I mean, hey, it, everyone, like, yeah, there, there's a bunch of opinions. Like, blue screens are a huge issue for some people. Uh, like, personally, for me, right now, the blue screens aren't even that bad. I am, I am okay with the blue screen situation right now. As long as they are still working on improving it, and they are. As long as they are still working on improving it, I am I am okay with the blue screen situation right now. <gasps> but it is as long as they're working to it. Oh, <laughs> Even <laughs> traitor. You you, jo you joined in on on a on a no context thing right there. Um, I, basically basically we're, uh, someone in my chat just donated basically saying the per the blue screens haven't ruined the game at all for them like they're still enjoying everything uh, it happens yeah. time to time but he's not really like too bothered by it um, so ba I think the go for it go ahead. I was just gonna say I think the one thing that I've definitely seen since posting the video is that a lot of people are not having the same experience with the game that I'm having um, yeah, fair. like there's there's a lot of people that are like th th there seems to be it's almost like me and some of my viewers are playing a different game to what other people watch, like watching the video and 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 w w just participating in the discussion are playing. Like, I, I've crashed more times than I haven't in this game. Like, I like I, I've I've basically crashed every day that I've played it, and that's happened since launch. Mm -hmm. And it's like 
I, I I'll like to I'll talk about that in a video and then uh, a bunch of my viewers will be like yo this is exactly what ha what's happened to me I've tried like the nine Easter egg like six times I've crashed every time and like blood boss fight blah 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 whatever right mm -hmm. but then there'll be people that respond and be like I haven't I haven't crashed once since like two weeks ago and it's just like how <laughs> like, I, I, I think it's really it's really interesting that there is that much kind of spread where some people are completely fine and so I think that it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a a weird kind of discussion to have in the community as this as this keeps going when I'm like it's unplayable because for me every game that I play crashes mm -hmm. like basically every single one and then for other people it's like well, what are you talking about there's there's not a problem here <laughs> so... yeah i i think i think it honestly matters what you do when you play zombies too because like at least yeah, for yeah. me and for a lot of other like youtubers and the, the people who are posting in the videos talking about the game is we're doing something specific we are either like i, I know frenzy's posted a lot of videos he's going for high rounds constantly and constantly crashing mm -hmm. right like for me I, like when the game came out, I was going for uh, Easter eggs, and you're going for Easter. Everyone was going for Easter eggs, right? And the Easter eggs were what was causing a lot of the crashes. It was the Easter egg steps, and being on a certain step was causing a, like a good majority of the crashes. And I think right. that kind of plays into who all is crashing and who's getting these, who's getting the crashes, uh, and uh, how often they are getting them as well. So a lot of the people who are saying like, hey. I'm not having any problems whatsoever with these crashes. I don't know what y'all are talking about. Maybe the kind of people who are just casual zombie players, and they might not even know there's a, a like maybe they got the game two like a week after it came out. They're not like super bothered with hunting for the Easter egg. They're not like going for high rounds. Right? They're just jumping into a game with their friends, going to round 22 and dying like every time. That like they I mean, if, they're they're essentially they're playing that, a completely don't... different yeah polished version of the game just because of what they're doing in it. Right, yeah, and I, I think like in retrospect, I probably should have m made a, uh, a clearer deal of that in my video. It's just that I didn't realize there was quite as much spread as people have been saying. Yeah. Um, uh, one of the points that you, you mentioned that I... I assume I you were to, watching the stream. Uh, yeah, yeah, like most of most of the time that you're watching the video. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the things you said was... Um, uh, just about how like software devs hard right and it's mm -hmm. like i i absolutely appreciate that and like i've i've, I've done my, my my fair share of it as well mm. but, like during uni and the thing is is like software dev yes it's hard and yes i appreciate that these crashes are not going to be able to be fixed overnight mm -hmm. but i think that combined with the fact that they haven't said anything makes the the no yeah like I have no sympathy essentially for the, the software dev being hard because everything else that's part of that picture is also making it seem like like there is a there is a uh, just a complete disconnect between what they are hoping is going to be okay and what the community has been hoping for with Black Ops 4 and what they were what they were kind of expecting from the release mm -hmm. um and it's like like, I, I want to be really clear. I'm absolutely not trying to, like, pin this on one dev and be like, whoever the the, the blue screen guy is, you've done a terrible job. Like, like I get that it's, like, it's the whole studio and it's, a, mm -hmm. it's, a, it, it's not, like, it's not a personal thing. It's just the fact that the product itself, for me, personally, in my games, doesn't function the way any other Zombies game has ever functioned. And that's the, I can get to round 100 if I'm good enough right yeah. like or i can do the easter egg if i'm good enough and like y yes when i when i was mentioning the the grub uh, or oh, sorry no when i was mentioning the black ops 3 thing and you're like well zesabo but that's that's dlc and as far as i'm concerned that's a that's a completely different I, th I think there's a distinction there i was just mainly talking about shadows itself actually yeah you're talking about on game launch yeah 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 just just the launch experience was like was basically fine mm -hmm. um and uh the uh the other thing is there was a there was a point that i made about um about garod right mm -hmm. uh so i was saying like garod hasn't been fixed it's nearly been a year it might have even been a year i'm not sure exactly when that when that broke but it's been a long time right it's been at least six months and mm -hmm. 
and you were like, oh, okay, I'm not sure it's a fair comparison. And I guess like I I I, I, I can respect that. I think that the only thing that I'll say that maybe I didn't make clear enough in the video is that what I was trying to get at there is that even even with the like them sort of quote unquote not being allowed to work on Black Ops 4, like they released a patch for Black Ops 1 like a month ago. Like there is still there is still one person at least working on those old games. And do you know do you know what it, that patch did though? Like was was there any no, actual? I, I don't remember. I like I, I just remember that there was like there was a patch for some old Treyarch title. Like are, I think there might have even been like are, a one. Are, are you sure that wasn't? Are you sure that wasn't the patch that maybe pulled the stats from those games that allowed you to do the uh, little like? Did you, did you get that email where they basically like said, "Hey, he, like you can check your entire Black Ops history record." And oh, I didn't get that. So so they did like a promotional thing for BO4. They emailed mm. everyone and said, "Hey, link your account and you can get all of your stats like dating all the way back to Black Ops One." Oh, was and that I for the app? Think, maybe. Uh, no, it, it was a separate little. It was a separate little thing. You could uh, JC tweeted it out. It's like a little video. Oh, I remember. Yeah. So it was like I, a, I think I think that patch that you're thinking is a... about is hmm. was maybe the patch. I mean that they pulled that they, they pulled the data. Over the years. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I, yeah. They they do throw out patches. And it's just like, just I, I just feel like if you. If you bought Black Ops Three and you bought Grog Krovy, yes, they're in the next game cycle now. But I still feel like. It's recent enough, and Activision have acknowledged to enough of an extent that there are player bases playing on the other games. Mm -hmm. That that being broken now, like like sure now during launch, I don't expect them to fix it. Right, we're in the middle of launch, but yeah. six months ago I would have expected them to fix it. And like the, the only point that I was I was trying to get to there was just that that was a situation where like we knew it was happening, but I don't think anyone has really made a, much of a fuss about it. And it's just kind of sat there, and I still get tweets to this day being like, I just did Garod and it didn't work, what's going on? Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's like, like that was that was the, 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 the only, I wasn't trying to like make a big deal out of the Garod thing. No, no, I no, think yeah. that it's pretty crappy. It's, it's just that like, that's a situation where we've kind of, we've done nothing and nothing's really happened. And, but with this, I mean, I, I, I fully agree with what you were saying towards the end when you were, uh, you got to the end of the video and you're like, I think that the most important thing is just communication. Like I have, fully fully back that mm -hmm. i'm i'm not trying to call for any boycotts or any crazy like business along those lines i thought the blundle out the hashtag was hilarious <laughs> i thought that was jokes but like i i i i think that just the most important thing is just the treyarch and activision both of those parties realize that in 2018, when you're competing against games like Fortnite and you're competing against these games that are mm -hmm. hyper communicative almost, like because of the, the the frequency of the updates and the 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 just the experience that they're providing elsewhere, mm -hmm. they they cannot say nothing about the blue screens. Like we exactly like you said, we know that they're there. Mm -hmm. Like you're not hiding anything from anyone. Just tell us what you're doing about it and. I, I even said this to the to the uh, guy that handles all the patch notes, um, or, or at least is part of that team at the review event. I was talking to him and I was saying like, it's great that you guys during the blackout beta were being so communicative about all the changes you were making. Like, th they did a fantastic job in my opinion during that beta, saying like it would be it would be less than 24 hours since an update went live, and they'd be like, yep, we've seen what you're saying about armor, we've seen what you're saying about vehicles and spawns and this that and, and the storm and etc. Right. They did a great job there. And so I was saying, like, I can't wait for that to happen with zombies as well. This is really exciting. Mm. And the more detail we can get, the better. Because as much as, like, like Jason always says, oh, it's the boring stuff talking about the game development. Yeah. And, like, I think that they have a similar sort of perspective from the patch notes side where it's like, you don't want to hear what stability improvements across all modes means. Well, actually... Yes, we kind of do. Whenever, so whenever there is glaring issues, we want to know. Like I was saying, right. what what I would love to see is because you know they have it. They they. I mean, Jason's talked about it before. We've they've got a, an entire master list of all of the bugs they're aware of, all the glitches they're right. aware of, and obviously you wouldn't want to like shout out the glitches and those kind of types of things that will like benefit ranking mm -hmm. up easy headshots essentially what I'm doing right now because it's the only possible way to get the cutscene. Um, yeah. Like, 
having having just a list of like hey round 27 voyage of despair when you're doing this step like they have that kind they have that when they've narrowed down a bug they they have a list and they list it until it's fixed and just mm -hmm. updating us with that because they, they have obviously made a ton of stability improvements like i i at least for me the game has been far less buggy and i i've received very few blue screens honestly in the last like week and a half to two weeks what sort of stuff have you been been doing in your games have you been doing easter eggs or easter egg speed runs uh mm -hmm. very little high round stuff so given that, that was... oh okay right gotcha yeah because I, th I think eggs are definitely more stable now yeah um uh i think that voyage is still quite buggy um from what i've heard and it, or crashy rather uh, yeah vo voyage voyage was a little is not great right now right yeah, it's like um i think joe was doing doing voyage last night and it it crashed on pc and it's just like that's literally yesterday yeah so. yeah i wasn't i was in the call and i crashed i was like yeah oh right <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah so i i don't know it, i'm i'm kind of torn because it's like i think the blue screen it basically i think i think the reason this is such a big topic today and not the entire like time this has been happening mm -hmm. the reason that it's a such a big topic today and everyone's talking about it today everyone's making videos on it today um i think the main reason that, that it's happened is that something that was directly influenced uh by crashes obviously being round 150 on classified yep. that has a tangible reward of an easter egg completion and cutscene which is huge those are the biggest like post map releases like things that can happen on a map right literally the biggest thing that knowingly that no one has made it past like round 100 on classified or like very few people have no like one's even, yeah, yeah. no one's made it like remotely close to 150 in terms of game time mm -hmm. 120 to 150 is like longer is than long time. Yeah. like one to 90 <laughs> it is right. crazy long probably even longer than that yeah that's so that, like potentially like halfway or something that like what i would love to see and again this is like this is kind of where i agree with you where you gotta like when you have a broken thing you can't you can't and it comes down to like easter eggs and stuff that, that's where i would agree like one has gotta throw the secrecy thing out and tell us right. hey uh yes there there is an egg unclassified or yes there is a cutscene unclassified it will be unlocked uh we'll, like we'll update when it's unlocked dot 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 you can still be cryptic you can still like right right but but how how it is right now like i'm literally running the risk of a possibility of being banned because it is literally the only way to get a cutscene yeah like i i am putting my account i'm putting all my five at five days of playtime on bo4 like even my just black ops account and like my dark matter everything that i have on the line mm -hmm. just because i want to see what this cutscene looks like and not and not cartoon mode yeah and, it's uh like that that's I just like, that's well, it's like, not... like also just another another like on that point an important thing to note for chat as well is like because we're we're content creators we're we're making videos about the game we don't really have a choice with this sort of thing yeah it's like we basically just need to do whatever we can do to get to the end of whatever the egg is um and in this case because it's physically impossible to do it without crashing in regular in the regular kind of um gameplay like you can't really like like me or noah and whoever can't really just sit here and wait for potentially weeks until it's stable enough like we don't know there's there's just no communication and so we kind of have to have to just bite the bullet and say all right well i might get banned and i might get banned five times but i sort of have to do this because it's my job i can't just put the controller down so yeah. And, and, and I mean, it's like, I, I, I hope that, like, I hope I don't get banned. I hope Treyarch realizes like, hey, there's, no, I mean, suck. like literally yeah. the reason it is the way it is, is not because I want to get there the easy mode or I want, like I would sit here and I would bash my head against the wall, just like I did right. for Garage Crowe like, to get to round 150 yeah. if it meant I got this legit. But when there is literally no possible way to do it legit with no timeline on when, we will be able to do it legit and it is unlocked by doing it not legit right. it's it, like i mean like like this is why this is why i feel i feel different like i like i don't think it's the the uh the people who got it first in the world 
I don't put any fault on everyone's saying like oh you guys suck you did it with glitches like everything like that there's been so much stuff I've seen like hate towards them and if anything it's like that should just be like I, for this for this particular instance it's not just Turek's lack of communication it's also kind of like decision making on that when they know mm -hmm. it is unstable and you cannot like Maybe, yeah. maybe they well, were just this hoping. Could be easily been prevented, right? Yeah, it could yeah. have so easily been prevented by just literally taking it out of the game until it, it was ready. Yeah, just turning it off until they decided to actually, I mean, until they knew it was stable, and then um, until they like did an update or a community post or something saying, "Hey, there's something waiting for you on Castified." Like that would have been so cool. Yeah. But yeah. instead, we get this. Like, I, I, yes. I was even down for them to do like time gated Easter eggs on launch week. I think it would have been sick to have like, all right, like kind of how they had the, the yeah. like they raised the floodgates and everyone started Easter egg hunting. Even if they yep. did that with all the maps, that would have been sick. Like, like one week is voyage, next week is blood or whatever, you know? Yep. I agree. I, I, no, I would have even, I would have even been cool with that. But I think the having like, like Destiny, as much as like Destiny is not Call of Duty, like fair enough. They do have a really cool formula for the way that they they the, do the raids. I just think it works in a really cool way. Mm -hmm. And I would not be mad in the slightest if Treyarch actually took some things from their formula. And like, I mean, th th there's there's a whole bunch of things that you can talk about there with like actual rewards for doing the eggs and, mm -hmm. and all sorts of stuff. Um, but yeah, just like actually had they... I mean, that's the thing is what I don't understand is... Surely they would have thought about that. Surely they would have gone, hmm, this is not possible right now. Therefore, surely someone would have said, well, shouldn't we lock it off? Like, I just, I'm very surprised that that conversation didn't seem to, like, lead anywhere. Either, um, I, in my mind, uh, like, either they didn't think, they didn't think someone was going to be able to glitch it uh because they figured yeah, fair, uh, okay. like yeah. maybe maybe they didn't know about this custom mutations glitch i don't know how long this has been out uh i mm -hmm. like I, I told my stream beforehand i'm not showing you guys how to do this i would not do this if i were right. you you're gonna get yeah. banned probably yeah um uh -huh. and uh i don't know man it's just they they, they either didn't know about this glitch or di didn't think this kind of glitch would be possible or they were just kind of hoping hey we'll leave it in the game maybe someone will get lucky and get to round 150 without crashing right I, I i just think that even even if like them thinking the glitch would be possible or not aside it's still such a messy way to do it right it's just like they could have been they could have been so much more or well, the egg itself could have been such a kind of clean um what's the word to say this like like the story of the egg being sold like the, yeah. the the actual community's experience right it could have been so much cleaner than this and instead it's just been this kind of weird weird thing yeah <laughs> so it kind of sucks but what are you gonna do it's i don't know it's it's hard because i really like i really like that they are being so inclusive high rounds dude and like this is the kind of thing that only a high rounds player would solve just i mean obviously it, it, like 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 any good easter egg kind of got tarnished by like someone g digging through the files and figuring it out mm -hmm. like i i mean that, that's not, that kind of stuff's not gonna happen or is gonna happen like no matter what and it's gonna happen consistently no matter what which is a shame in my opinion uh that it's possible i i like I, i'm kind of under the impression that if it's possible to do and it's not like literally this guy is able to hack the, the pentagon in order to do this like he's obviously like obviously the people who dig into the files have figured out that it's a round capped it's a round based uh cutscene like they're they're obviously talented but they're not like like they're not like gonna hack the pentagon you know they're not so, neo yeah so yeah, yeah. While, while while it's unfortunate this that uh it's still the kind of like this is always gonna happen. Um, I don't know. I I, I I think I think the combination the combination of it being fi basically figured out before it was figured out. On top of that, the entire like cutscene being data mined. Like we already like people already like I hadn't listened to it, but there was already like full audio transcribings of like what was said and everything like that. All that was yeah, missing was like the models um, and animations. Right. I think it was. Was it the subtitles or was it actual audio? It was actual audio. Oh Christ! You can like, you can literally listen to the cut. I went back and listened to it after I watched the actual cutscene. Uh, you can yeah. literally listen to. Uh, 
And it's the same. It's actually like. Yeah, it's literally, it's yeah. literally the. Uh, I mean, it, it, it doesn't flow. It, it doesn't happen? flow what as well. Try uh, out. Come on now. Oh, did my stream crash? Hold on. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Go. We're good, We're good chat. Can, can you can you say can can I get a we good in chat, please? Everyone goes banned. <laughs> 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 I, 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 I'm not like, I, like, I wouldn't mind if they reset my, like, this prestige or anything like that. I'll honestly be kind of disappointed if I get reset. I mean, I'll, I mean, if I'll understand. It. Stats, that's gonna, like, rip Dark Matter, dude. That's a lot of grinding for that. I literally did so much grinding. And, yeah. Like, just to have it. Like, it's... like, I'm doing, like, I don't know. I, 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 I couldn't be, I couldn't be mad one. at them, but I'd, I'll just be sad. <laughs> I'll be sad at them if I get reset. 7200 headshots boy let's get it brother <laughs> let's go <laughs> so oh, no. i don't know i i hope i i'm gonna i'm gonna dashboard after i get the cutscenes up so my round doesn't save yeah i think that's that's probably wise just kind of keep yourself <clears throat> in the good books kind of thing Just, if that, yeah. that is saying even if I get to it, because I, I I don't know if you if you heard this, but uh, out of the people who did the glitch last night, uh, there were three yeah. people in solo games that did it, and oh. two of them two of them blue screen on around like 140. Oh. So only one of them managed to make it to 150 without crashing. Wait, so did it? Was it um? Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um. Did they know it was 150 that you had to get to? Mm hmm. So they were just going and it just randomly plays or something? Mm -hmm. Jeez, wow. It literally Wait. just starts once it gets 150. <laughs> what is going on with this game? <laughs> dude, I'm all for I love it, dude. It's just obviously... No, I, yeah, I think, I think that's pretty cool. It's obviously the problem, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think that I would be, I would be much less cut up about it if I didn't actually like the game. It's just that this game is so damn good, man. It, it it's really just is. so damn good. And then this stuff happens, I'm just like, oh, it was so close, but it's just. Yeah, uh. I, I was telling my chat, minus the minus the obvious issues, this is, mm. in my opinion, the best Call of Duty zombies launch we've ever had. Like, four maps, crazy amounts to do, so much customization. Like, like, like we can we can complain about a lot of stuff, but. I mean, at the end of the day, it's literally the best, the most content we've ever had. And if they just fix the technical stuff, it'll be great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The technical stuff and the microtransactions. Yeah, yeah. I, I that, that, that is one part. Like, I, I was kind of, I wasn't as like, I, what's, what's, what's the way to put it? Passionate about a lot of the issues as you are. Like, I, like, I, I was saying you were kind of no, like. I'm surprised because like. I, I I was just like when, when when you were going through the MTX bit, like I was basically saying that I just I feel genuinely like it's it's just a complete rip off to make you like the 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 price of the talismans. I no, think no, no, oh, no, no. I was saying about I was saying yeah. about the blue screen stuff. Not my, I was saying microtransactions. I'm all with you on that. Like I, oh I, okay okay gotcha. Because it, it it is just I, like in my opinion. I think, like, as someone who loves Call of Duty, wants them to make a ton of money on BO4. I want them to absolutely kill it on BO4. Right. I want them to have so many people buying the Boolean Plasma, it's crazy. But I think the <laughs> way that the way that they have it to make it hyper expensive, no one's gonna buy it. Like, yeah. For me, I spent I spent a uh, hundred and twenty bucks, I think, and yeah. I literally don't want to buy anymore because it's so darn expensive, and I run through it so fast. Like, if I like, cause I went through like a bunch of those in one game. If I ha right. like, if I have the ability to have a bunch of them, every hundred dollars I spend have like a week. Like for someone who plays zombies a lot, like two to three weeks worth every hundred dollars. Like, and I uh, that's someone who hardcore grinds. That is like. It's like right now I feel like the a lot of the problem as well is the with with multiplayer. You so like. Um, Admittedly, I don't play as much MP, so like, correct me if uh, if something I say is is off here. But like, with I think it was IW, they introduced the the salvage system, so you could like basically recycle your guns and work towards uh, buying like certain guns you wanted, right? Certain mm -hmm. weapon variants. Is that is that correct? Uh, you're, uh, which game was this? Which which one? With was IW, it? I think they introduced that. Yeah, that you get the salvage from no. it, and then you can. Buy yeah, it. yeah, yeah. So like, that is is a really cool thing that they did in in that game to like 
make the the quality of life of the player better so like cool okay i'm all for that great mm -hmm. and the thing that's kind of awkward now is that because we don't have any kind of cookbook you you get in a scenario where like you get not only do you get all these like just uh, i mean you have to spend so much money to get the elixirs in the first place that they're then uh, a third of them even if you're doing the most expensive spin are still commons and so the likelihood of you getting the thing that you actually want is so low and then on top of that with talismans there's a huge number of talismans that are useless it's like get an extra acid bomb and it's 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 completely useless and i'm pretty sure that they're there just to pad out the the statistics so that you're less likely to get the really really good ones which i i, I like i get the decision behind but i also think it sucks and if there was a way to like to actually cookbook some of the stuff that we're getting and turn it into things that we actually want life would be a little bit better it wouldn't it wouldn't fix the problem but it would be improved for sure because like i only really ever want maybe a max of like five different types of, of elixirs in my game i want things like alchemical uh, in plain sight is really useful cashbacks are useful licensed contractors maybe and like maybe one or two others max but like that's yeah. about it yeah but right now there's like there's like 25 or something of these things and you just end up with loads of double points which you don't want or whatever like whatever one it is that you don't want you end up getting loads of right so it's law yeah yep 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 yeet 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 i i, I think that i think they're just too expensive right now they're way too expensive and there should they should be cheaper you should be able to get more of them a lot easier and you should do you, do you reckon sorry go ahead finish your point uh more of them a lot easier and mm. uh then that's uh, like you said a trade-in system would be sick right so do you think because because i'm curious to see what you what you think about this do you think that people would buy them more if they were cheaper oh absolutely chat uh, well i mean uh, no, i kind of I mean, I, yeah i i i kind of did a confirmation bias thing here but chat what what combination would make you you guys buy more if you if if you were like way more powerful than everyone else in your game because they're really rare they're really expensive and you just spend a hundred bucks and now you have a bunch of talismans that your buddies don't have and you only have one of them but you get to show off for that one game what w would you guys be happier be paying bad. money yeah. for something like that where uh you're, you're kind of more unique and you're you're even more op uh, for a short amount of time because they're just so inaccessible or would you would you be more willing to pay money and just like Get a, get a bunch more of them if they're like not rare at all and Whenever you want to restock of everything in your inventory You can just pay like 50 bucks and have enough gobble gum or uh, elixirs ready to go for the next like I don't know like three to four weeks Because because for me for me I am more likely to to pay something if I'm getting constant value out of it. Right. In the game. Yeah, I think my I, I I'm kind of similar in that like I I think I'd much rather I just I just think that like ugh, the fact that they they they're not even that powerful so you almost it's like the 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 first option of like oh you feel super powerful you almost don't have that cuz like you kind of don't feel really that powerful because they're not that amazing <laughs> so you're paying a lot of money and it's like a, a slight increase almost it's just a weird it's it's weird yeah strange one yeah i, uh, I, I, I did was... a uh, i did a blood of the dead solo speed run uh with uh -huh. basically all the op elixirs that i got and everything like that yeah and i probably like knowing that that's what i like those are the ones that are good i use like undead man walkings i use like uh, the point yeah. ones, the, the or I forgot what it's called, the one that gives you a bunch of points. Um, sure. And what was the other one? Anyway, like like all my good elixirs. By the yeah. time I was done with one speed run, uh, like doing it as quickly as possible, and given I only made it halfway through the speed run because I got a really really frustrating bug on the <laughs> yeah, I saw. new industry stuff was... and didn't want to play it yeah. anymore because it ruined my speed run. Uh -huh. um, I basically th that was like. Sixty dollars, like half of my one twenty that I spent, down the drain in of my game. good gobble gums in one game. Jesus, and it was all because the the game glitched. So you, that's yeah. essentially why you had to quit. Yeah. 
Oh, Black Ops 4. Man. And it, like, if, if, if it was the same situation there, but it was maybe like $5. I mean, it still uh -huh. seems a lot when you think about it, but like, I am like the top end of like how much I'm willing to pay on the game because I'm a YouTuber and I right. play it a lot. Like, that's still like, that's still a lot given, but that's so much better than 60 bucks that you could buy a full other game for. Yeah, I think like part of the part of the thing with me is like I'm I'm very aware that I'm generally like I'm a hoarder in games. I don't really like spending loads of uh, like loads of my in-game currency or whatever. I'm just I just it's just not me for some reason. I don't know I don't know why. I think there's quite a lot of people that have that same problem where it's like you earn a load of money in a game and then you're like, well, I'll just hold on to it because you know it might be useful. Yeah. Like that thing. And um. Like, I just know for a fact that if I was actually using all these elixirs right now and losing them, I would be so much more heated than I even am right now. Like, just because I would feel like I would just, it would just anger me oh, so much I to did, lose um, all my stuff in game. Um, I forgot to mention that's 120 bucks plus about four prestiges worth of playtime. I, cause I saved up all Christ, my Nibelium okay, yeah. plasma, my Nibelium plasma the entire time. <laughs> you having a stroke, my guy? Yeah. Uh, dude, I, I haven't been able to pronounce anything today. It's been terrible. <laughs> so that is including about four days of playtime. Right. As well. And uh, yeah. half of that was gone in one game. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just surprised that I'm surprised that this is the experience that we got. I thought it was going to be so clean, and then yeah. it's just been it's, weirdly buggy. It's just so it, it's so easily fixed. Just better communication. I want like, like I like I understand all the blue screens aren't going to fi be fixed overnight. Communicate that to me. Tell me, like, the, like g give me as much information as you humanly can in this blog post. Uh, yeah. You, like, yeah, yeah. I was even saying, just make a pasteman of the bug sheet. Like just just paste it in there. Yeah. Just yeah. Why like, not? Obviously, excluding the like the glitches and stuff that you don't want people doing and you don't want to spread the word about. Mm -hmm. Um. Just throw throw in all of them. Give us as much information as possible, and fix microtransactions. And already, boom, right there. I'd the the game is like so much closer, like very close in my opinion to being where it needs to be. Yeah, because there's, I mean, other, okay, so Such other than, other than, other than no the crashes at the MTX, what, what else is, is bad about the game? What else is bad about it? Yeah. Is there, is uh, there anything else that springs to mind for you? I think it's a little bit of a slap in the face that there's no dark matter for zombies this time around, especially when they make right. the, getting the camos so ridiculously hard in zombies. Uh -huh. ridiculously time consuming i think it's a little bit of a slap in the face i would have loved to see it like a camo even if it's like a reskinned old use cam i would love to see something and the fact yep. that mp has all these really cool variants and you even if you go into mp and get them you still can't even use them in zombies i think it's a little sad uh, uh -huh. obviously I, I basically all my issues with the game just come down to they didn't have this enough time right? oh okay and then, then obviously, I, I, I mean, I mean, even those like we they, we wouldn't be needing more communication if the if, if everything it, yeah, was ready. I guess so. Yeah. So I think um the like um dark matter sort of side of things. The, the weird thing about that as well is that I I I don't understand why. Like I don't think there's a single reason I can think of that's a that's a, a, a an argument winning reason why they would not want to tell us when Dark Matter was coming. Like I just don't. I, like is it because they can't deliver? I I, 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 th I think they're worried about. Like I, I actually I don't know if you saw this part. I actually mentioned this when I was like watching a okay. video. Um, I I would personally love to get a date, even if it is ridiculously far away. I would love to get a date that says, hey. We're, this isn't at the top of our list, but we'll have this to you in two months, which is ridiculously oh, far away. Yeah. I would love to hear that and then them surprise me saying, hey, we got this done a month early. Here's it one month later. That's exactly what I wish they would do, like, like with Dark Matter, sure, but 
with like with factions and with callings they just simply because of the fact that they announced them in the global reveal and they now have not said a word about them like like callings we've had the halloween thing fair but the daily and weekly and monthly things that they said are just not in the game and there's no discussion of it. it's like they just disappeared so yeah. I, that, I, and and i i think i think it's hard because it, it's it's a little bit of hey if they say they released all this ridiculous stuff right now but the game is still crashing every other second i think people would rather the game be stable first before they start adding in other things and i think they would rather have that too because they obviously have limited production time which again comes down to the game was just released early and right but mm. i like i don't think that they could i like i don't think if if, if they had said either before launch or or if they said it now they said here's us addressing the blue screens and then separately factions are coming on november 20th and this is how it's going to work or or maybe not maybe they keep it a little bit ambiguous that's that's like that's the thing is in the video as well like what we were saying about like ditch the secrecy and just talk to us for goodness sake i'm totally fine with them still being a bit tongue-in-cheek a little bit kind of cheeky about things like that's not a problem it's just that you need to be doing some talking to kind of justify the tongue-in-cheek and that's what like I, I mentioned the start of the video but you, you, you I, I told you to skip past it at, uh, at comic-con part of the reason that the interview i did with jason was so bad and I've, I've posted basically nothing from it is that he pretty much refused to answer any of the questions i was asking him which is like okay fair enough that, that's his kind of right whatever and the only piece of information I got from that was talismans. And talismans is, is a microtransaction. And it's like, you, you, you want me to announce your microtransaction? I think I'm good actually, bro. Like, it was just it was just a very weird scenario where they weren't talking about anything that meant, like, meant anything to the players. And so we're just here like, well, kind of want to know what this game is that I'm buying, like, please. And the... The kind of sarcastic comments and all the jokes and stuff are fine, but there needs to be some substance behind it. Yeah, it, it, it works well whenever the game is flowing accordingly. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. In the DLC season, it's much, much better. 100%. Yeah. But yeah, I, 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 for me, for me, I, like, obviously at launch, I, it was terrible. I think kind of kind of what i was saying when you joined for me how it is right now is not the the blue screen issue isn't that terrible i can deal with everything right now i just need to like just need to communicate more i i literally I, everything like released too early whatever reasons maybe you know whatever i think the main thing is i i just want more communication from them and i want mm -hmm. them to let me know what's up you know i, I like i like, like like i was saying with fortnite like they they are just straight up transparent hey we had an update coming tomorrow we announced the update everything was going but we've had some development issues it's not stable and it's crashing games so we're not we're delaying the patch release until further notice and we'll let you know when that right. is <clears throat> and like fortnite is um is is like the 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 repercussions of something not working for them in, in, in a lot of cases, is a much bigger deal than it is for, for Treyarch because for Fortnite, half the time when things like go really wrong, they have to bring the servers down to fix it. Or yep. like they'll release an update and they're like, okay, yep, server's gonna be offline for a while. Yep. No one can play the game. So they've got like a really, really high stakes scenario and they're absolutely going the complete opposite direction of, of Activision. And instead of hiding behind everything, they're just telling people what's up. And it means that people don't get nearly as mad people are uh, are more informed about what's going on and they're more understanding when there is a problem that takes some time to solve yeah like it makes it much more human yeah people want to have a relationship with the game that's weird and i'm not sure legal um you want to you want to have a relationship with the game like you want to you want to have like you want to have the conversations if you care about like literally i get excited anytime there's an update I get excited nowadays because I'm like, hey, at least I'm going to get some patch notes. Like, and, yeah. and I get to read what the developers are saying and what they're working on. And I just wish there was more <laughs> info in those. And, you know. Cause, cause, cause back in the day, it was, it was a bunch of, I mean, not that long ago. It literally patch notes came out like for big releases, but the little hot fixes, nope, you don't get, you don't get anything. Right, right, right.
Do you, um... Here's, here's a, a question for you. Do you think that you would have preferred Black Ops 4, from like, from the experience we've had like, in the last month, would you have preferred this game to just not have launched with like one of the maps? Like maybe they just delete Voyage, for example. Do you think that that would have been preferable? And like if, if that meant that all the bugs were fixed, all the blue screens were done, all that manpower just went towards actually making the game polished instead of developing another map, mm. would you have preferred that? I would have preferred to still get Voyage, but get it at a later date and like the game could have been polished and they could be working on voyage right now instead of working on bugs right, right now they could have been working on voyage right now because i yeah. i i, yeah. I, I my, my kind of like go to when it comes to games and stuff like that any content is good content like fortnite mm -hmm. adding in a drum gun that like i keep using fortnite as an example because it's like a relevant one that most people well, everyone can relate right so yeah that makes sense um fortnite added in the drum gun terrible addition to the game terrible addition <laughs> Absolutely, like, what were they thinking? That gun was the most OP thing they've ever released in that game. It ruined the meta. Everyone hated the meta for about the... I mean, they left it in way too long. That's a whole nother... That's, that's another discussion, but... Sure. It ruined the game. But at the end of the day, it's something that caused discussion in the community. It's a new piece of content you can talk about. And while they left it in far too long, albeit, it was... It was content and it was stuff that people could talk it, it keeps it keeps the community alive when there's things to talk about and there's things to do i think i think zombies biggest frustration for me is that there's two if they keep the same model there's two months in between each new piece of content and mm -hmm. then it's a huge rush and it's sick but then after that map's done you've got usually about five weeks until the next one <laughs> until you get any real new content so yeah yeah, that's, uh, it's dry. And, that, like, I think that, like, that's a really cool idea of if they had, if they'd done something, it, it could have been literally as simple as them with the announcement of the game saying, yeah, Voyage will release on maybe, like, maybe, like, midway through November, because then it would be, like, halfway to when we're expecting DLC 1 to be. Mm. And that would be amazing. Like, can you imagine if we got Voyage just after things had just started to quiet down, we got an entire new map? Yeah. And it was just part of the on disc content. That would be nuts, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like, 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 don't make it separate. Don't make it a Black Ops Pass thing. Literally say, like, if if they're just if, like, because they could have said, it, like, we want to release it on launch, but it's not ready. That would have been fine. Like, yeah, I don't know yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been, it would have been completely fine. Hundred percent. Yeah. Say, hey, hey, we we, we want to work on this. Uh, we we want to make sure. Like, one thing that I really appreciate about Blackout and what Vonderhart's done is that they're yep. very upfront in their interviews and everything like that, that they are working on stuff, things that take time and they're not gonna be ready yet. But here's what, like, like before the game even came out, they uh, they actually, this is something that I was, uh, I talked to Dan Bunting about uh, when we were okay. when we were playing the game early and I was saying, hey, here's my idea for how, we, how you make armor better, right? This is how, mm -hmm. like, you get the armor in Blackout and it can get shot off, it can get destroyed but you still have the like a broken piece of armor on your body. And whenever you right. kill somebody, you go over and they 100% of the time, they have an armor repair kit. They have an armor repair kit on their body, right? And um, you you can repair your armor up to a certain percentage, figure out the balancing, whatever. But that allows sure. people who want to play aggressive to be aggressive and not get punished for not having armor at the end game. And they actually took that idea. And before the game even came out, Vaughn, and it's still not in the game. Vaughn said, "Hey, we, we, uh, we've got this. We, we've got this thing that we're gonna do, and we're we're still testing it. We're still working on it. Uh, but we want to basically have a way that you can uh, break off pieces of armor. If you kill someone with armor, you break off their armor, and it replenishes your armor. And they said that before the game even started. And that's like a big a big fundamental change. And it's still not out, but at least we know it's coming, and we have something to look forward to in that. Right. And just knowing that they're working on it, that alone." is is exciting that's like hell that's yeah fine. it's not ready yet that's fine like I, right. like literally i i think the current system is not that great where you get your armor shot off you're screwed for the rest of the game until you find another piece of armor good luck finding mm. that in the houses that are left over so far <laughs> um i mean as we were talking about it all through the beta right where it was just like this system clearly is clearly punishing us right now for being aggressive let's let's do a system where you can like you can pick up a fresh jacket for example and yeah. 
like sure that that maybe that's a, a little bit of a less good solution than the, the repair kit type thing maybe the repair kit type things have been more gamey it means if there's like a bit of risk reward going on i'm sure van likes that idea but like just the fact that there was there was a problem that people were having and then they talked about it and they were like okay we'll fix it like they're not saying when yet but they say that it's on the way and it's a it's a feature in dev that alone is like is a is a big improvement right so like what i don't get is why zombies hasn't caught up with that mentality like why it's so stuck in the i don't know if it's jason i don't know if he's got a weird attitude towards it i don't know if it's like someone else in the studio but certainly on the mp side and the and the, and the blackout side from from my perspective it seems like they're doing a, a decent job with it uh, and like the the multiplayer patch notes they released the other day was huge like that was a huge multiplayer patch notes um mm -hmm. like log but for some reason with zombies they just haven't realized that we actually are here and like need to be communicated to about what the hell's happening in the game feed us feed yeah us. feed us we are hungry so very hungry also what round are you on uh 130. How long you been in game, roughly? Like an hour? Uh, how long have you been streaming for? Um, I can tell you in a second here, actually. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, my thing is in my way. I'm gonna, never mind, I can't die because I'm literally invincible because this is the only way to beat this Easter egg. Easy. Um, two hours and 40 minutes. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably I make guess it, I'll probably make it in under four hours. Yeah. That's, uh... That's good, because I, I feel like crashes get really, really, like, much more likely once you're past the four-hour mark. Yep. That's so so does my YouTube least. stream. <laughs> yeah, baby. Okay, hold on. Uh, I got to read a few of these real quick, just because yep. I've been chatting shop, for a shop, bit. Shop. Um, Derpy Lion says, J get Jason on Discord. Yeah, oh, if only, dude. If only. Um, yeah, I wish, man. Uh, will you be, uh, how will you be able to do the Easter egg on mutations? It is a glitch that I am currently doing in my game because this is physically the only way that you can actually reach the cutscene right now for the foreseeable future. Because we have no idea when they're going to be fixing this high round bug, high round crashes on, uh, Crashified. And, uh, yeah, so that's, that, it, it's a glitch. I don't recommend anyone do it, does it because Treyarch have said that they can and will ban people for doing glitches exactly like the one that I'm doing right here. So, I hope I don't get banned. But for that reason, I didn't show how to do it, and I rec I strongly recommend none of you guys do it because you can just watch the cutscene whenever I get it in about 19 more rounds without cartoon mode or big logos on it. Um, Prisify, thank you for the $1. Uh, I, wow, I missed a lot here. Um, wow, I missed a lot, guys. Sorry. I'm catching up. I'm on it. I'm on it. Uh, by the way, I'm so excited for the t-shirt to come. I've got a collection of merch from five different YouTubers so far, and you're my sixth. Uh, when, when I get another job, you, your boy is going to bag himself some more ears. Hey, appreciate it, dude. Hopefully, the posters will be re restocked soon. I keep getting told they're coming soon, but they're still not restocked. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but the, the, the shirts are still on the store. Noj456shop.com if you would like to cop. Papa Papa Doc. Uh, King Karcher says, maybe I'll be a tiger. I'm already a tiger. What, what about Blyfather? I'm already a Blyfather. I'll be a Hellhound. Nerf Hellhound. You're right. So Brutus. I want to be Brutus. So I guess I'll be Monkey. I'm Monkey. Is this that stupid Overwatch meme yeah. that's going around? Yeah, it is. Oh. That TikTok meme. Thank you, King Karcher, King of the Meme. You really are I King of the Memes, huh? Um... Let's see. Twisty. I've been a huge fan since watching your Shadows of Evil trailer reaction. I wonder if you could check out my vid. Uh, I made after your streams. Thanks from the Olympia gang. Well, I could have, but you're on the Olympia gang, so I don't know, man. Maybe. Dude, you got something against Olympia gang? Yeah, M14 gang for life. Excuse me? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry you have. I'm sorry about your brain damage. Um, sorry, you mean superior weapon choice? <laughs> yeah, right, okay. <laughs> sorry, um, uh, Dragon's Breath? Hello? Oh, uh, this isn't a. Wait, this, I'm sorry, this wasn't a discussion that we were having. This, is, <laughs> this was just a fact of life that the M14 is far superior. The Olympia is, is far superior. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah. Uh, Kazam's HQ says there's a second cutscene just for Dinikla. He thinks you need to go around 255 to get it. Good shot for you to try. Uh, I'll probably keep this own game open until I crash. So uh, we'll see. I'll probably crash, if not before, shortly after the cutscene. So uh, I'll keep going. Hopefully he's right. I don't know if that's 
evidence based at all? I don't, I don't know. Wait, I don't watch there's, there's another. So, is here, that? Is that? I don't know. I, I literally. That's just what someone donated. They said that he made a video talking, saying there's another cutscene at 255. I don't know. Yikes. It's a good question. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it starts as, do you think it would be easier for zombies to branch off its, its own title so it can be focused down to uh, devs or cheaper BF4 packages that zombies only did zombie players? Uh, I wouldn't be opposed to it. I don't think it'll ever happen, though. I think Call of Duty is too much of a package at this point, and it'll never be sold separately. Uh, hit us a link to the video if you ever get around it. Love your feed feedback. It was uh, Clutch and Heroes versus Villains 2v4. I don't play that game, so I have no idea what that would be, dude. <laughs> I, I have heard a lot of good things about that. It's, it's old though, right? Yeah, thank you, Barrett. Appreciate you. Uh, what's your high round strategy on this map? Uh, yeah, it's stuck. Uh, Alexander Door, you, uh, there's a lot you of good high round strats, strats, but that you will crash before you probably even make it to round 100. You can get yeah. to 120 if you're lucky, but I don't think anyone's made it past 120 in the almost month that this game's been out. Uh, I've crashed three times in Dotals. I've done all Easter eggs in multiple around 50 plus games. I don't know if people have it worse than me. Uh, a, a lot of it was depending on when you started playing, when you started doing the Easter egg. It has significantly improved from launch week and second week. Significantly improved. Joe. Uh, tell Milo just buy Xbox if he doesn't want his game to crash. JB said, dude, it's, it's a game related issue. It's, I mean, maybe some consoles and PC help a little bit more, but overall it is very much a game related issue. Uh, and not something that can be solved by just hopping on a different console, unfortunately. Uh, PC was crashing just as much as uh, PS4 was during the beta. All right. Or not the beta, the uh, first week of launch. JB Sim, uh, your first one. Dude. Pretty much the same. Yeah, right. Um, I have played on Xbox five times to do the blood Easter egg, and every time we get the Canorium, uh, and as soon as we place on the Warlord Slap, it cu uh, crashes, but when I did it on solo, it's fine. You, and that's been recently? It's pretty bad if that's happened recently. Because that, that blood's been pretty yeah, good, honestly, it. in terms of crashes for I, me. I get a lot of people saying that um, just around the bird step on blood, it just dies. Like, every game. It just huh. dies for them. I wonder if that's something to do with not having a PS4 Pro. Because I, I, I've been fine on blood for a while now, honestly. Hmm. Uh, me again, I feel like the reason we don't get more blue screens uh, now than ever before is because they're trying to make the experience better and with that comes more problems. Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's so many more... Eh, I don't know if there's... I would say so many more. There are more more systems in BO4 than there were in BO3. So, obviously, like with a game like Zet, there was a lot of new systems in Zet and that was what caused it to be so crashy. It, it wasn't crashy, though. It was just buggy. Just game in the... Right. And stuff I mean, like it was that. crashy if you were doing high rounds like in the same way that Garod was because like certain things would break the game like the um the gauntlet on Garod used yeah. to give you blue screens um but the solution was essentially just don't use yeah. the gauntlet and the game is is more stable um but again that's dlc as well right so it's like yeah it's a little different different a little different uh Amon Amonji Singh uh, Amonjio Singh says I've been interested in streaming and making videos for fun but I don't really have a lot of money to start with high quality any tips uh, same tip I give to everyone, dude. The sooner you can get started and just start making content, eh, the better. Don't wait to get the highest quality PC. Don't say like, hey, I want to start streaming, but I don't have, like, I won't have 1080 quality off the bat or anything. Dude, you will learn so much from streaming and what you need to become a successful streaming just by streaming yourself. It, just honestly get started, start doing it, and you will, you will learn a lot just by doing it. And you don't even need a really great PC. Honestly, if you're streaming to zero viewers, you can still learn a lot about streaming just by the act of doing it. Just get started. I mean, that's don't waste any farther. That's essentially what we all what we all do, right? We yeah. all start at zero viewers. That's how it, how it works. Um, <coughs> but yeah, that, that would be my suggestion. Uh, what's up, man? How's your day? And it's been pretty good. Pretty good, Matthew. Played Fortnite for about six hours earlier with Ninja, Tim the Tatman, uh, Cipher, oh, and nice. uh, Trevor May. So it was a great time. <laughs> um, it went to my little cousin's band performance, so that was fun. Um, how, how do you get getting dogs on high, high round mutations and, or glitching? It's a glitch for mutations that puts it in a classic mode, basically. Don't recommend it. Uh, thank you, Treyarch Trolling Zombies. Appreciate you. Um, dude, how do you get god mode? Please tell me. It, this is just custom mutation. Everything that you're watching, all the gameplay that you're watching is custom mutation settings. The only difference is, is that it's going to allow me to do the Easter egg. That's the only difference. This is all stuff that you can do in custom mutations. Uh, 54 minutes for nine Easter eggs, is that good? Is that, uh, that 
what is the world record? Oh, dude, no clue. No clue. 54. It sounds really good. Yeah, no, 54 is good. I don't know how many players that was, but if I was solo, that's really good. Um, I want to use be able to use them at different frequencies to fits in a burst so I can sit back to games with friends when we were able to mess around with different strats. Oh, I'm guessing that's uh, the, the, the elixir discussion. Yeah, it, I mean, obviously, I think, I think people are going to want... Like, honestly, the only thing that I like rarity in, like, I want them to be super, super rare, is cosmetics. I think rare cosmetics are really cool, and one of the reasons Fortnite is such a huge game, and the reason, like, Pat is killing it on Fortnite, because cosmetics are such a cool, like, addition, and they're such a cool talking point and everything like that. I think rare cosmetics and the fact that everyone obsessed so much about the Skull Trooper and everything like that. Uh, Face paint and zombies, brother. Yeah. It's not, it's not the same. Face paint. No, oh, no, it's, it's definitely not. <laughs> Face paint's trash, dude. Um... But yeah, that's why that's why I really like the weapon. Even if they are less rare now, because obviously you can just spend money on the battle pass. I still think the uh, the weapon variants and MP are really cool, and I would love to see a weapon variant for completing a voyage Easter egg solo. I would love to see a realistic four player nine Easter egg special weapon variant. I would love to see Give things me, that like, are a hard. Kraken version of a gun for, yeah. for doing voyage. That would be sick as hell. That'd be so sick. And they have the systems to do it. They just need to. They just need to put the dev time into it, which obviously God is damn game. Gotta come backseat to other stuff, but. Right. Um. Personally, I would prefer nine to be uh, released after Voyage for chronological reasons. Yeah. That. Yeah. That would. Yeah. That would make sense. That's eh, actually, that's I, like, but even then. I mean, like, it doesn't matter you, you, to go back in, back in time. Yeah. I mean, we've done it for years anyway, with the current storyline, yeah. so. Um, Bruce Lee and Rhapsody, thank you guys for coming to the channel members. Enjoy the emotes, friends, and the channel badges. Um, let's see. At the end of the day, what Charix needs to fix is your hairline. Alright, you're dead to me. Uh, <laughs> Milo's video was spawned on and it was brilliant, TBH. Well, I'm sure he appreciates that. I, I definitely wasn't perfect, but, like, the idea glad you enjoyed it. He enjoyed the, the overall arc. Uh, Seamus says, I, I feel like Epic has set a standard now with a very de detailed patch notes and always uh, watch, watch the community and taking everything that people had that's great that uh, Treyarch could learn from. I mean, I mean, Epic, I mean, whether you love or hate Fortnite, I mean, I think, I think you're, everyone, I think, to this day, I think everyone is lying if they said, um, Fortnite, they didn't love Fortnite at some point or was at least interested by it. I mean, maybe some people weren't, but it is literally the biggest video game of all time. In my opinion, like bigger than Minecraft no, for a I mean, reason. It is, yeah. Um, they like they've done stuff right. Like they they engage the community. They have community events, and a lot of that is. I mean, you can't you can't make a direct comparison because zombies is not a battle royale. It's not an ever changing map. It's not if you play with four people maximum. It's a little different, right? You can't do a huge in game event like you can in Fortnite and zombies. So I, I don't expect to make that comparison, but. Uh, they can de they they can definitely take some notes and I I'm sure they have they already seems like they have so definitely, well, definitely they have, a good but, thing. but they haven't said it they haven't said it that's yeah. what gets me um hope you blue screen thanks Takio appreciate that oh Takio dude who uh who hurt you Takio <laughs> <Do> you <laughs> apart from yourself <laughs> you think this map will have to be completed toward a super e strike oh that's actually an interesting question. I, yeah, so I don't know. I was know. talking about this with smart guy. With uh, with the giant, you did have to do that. Mm -hmm. um, even though it didn't have a trophy, you still did, ha did have to do it. And so this, obviously, it doesn't have a trophy. But, but it does I mean, have a, on the screen, it has an Easter egg completion. Yeah, right. Exactly, I honestly so. don't think there's going to be a super Easter egg in this game. I don't think so. I think the I think especially if they're doing half the maps Ether and half the maps uh Chaos. I don't think there's gonna be a super Easter egg, personally. Um, but we'll see. It's very possible. In which case, I will cry if they wipe my account. Um, GK is still uh, still broken. It is indeed. Cause Sour Blaze, thank you for five dollars. Yeah. Unfortunately. But I I, I I don't fault them. I, I I can't fault them for that. I I like it's clearly clearly they were rushed on Bo4, and I think any time taken away from that for Rock Krovy was. Would, have probably been a mistake that being said i don't know how complex of an issue is if it's like four lines of code that they need to fix and they already know how to do it they just literally aren't allowed to do it that's a different issue 
Um, it's but like we, we can't say that without knowing how complex the issue is. It, it, I think part of the part of the thing that's so difficult there is like because that they never talk about these things. It's like, well, why not just roll back the patch? Like whatever they last did, just undo it. Yeah. Because there's nothing else that was in the previous version that was breaking the game that badly. Um, so like, just live with whatever bug you've just fixed and let Garod live again. <laughs> like, make it Dude, right I, again. I think I think it's so funny that people saying like, Garod getting uncompletable as part is like yeah. canon. I think that's really yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, Max Levine says, Olympic game greater than M14 game, five, five bucks to support this. Wrong. You have to do $10 now in order to make your opinion right. Wait, no. Uh, <laughs> it's, hard, it's, it's real hard being right, man. <laughs> Olympic gang all the way, dude. Absolutely not. Uh, I just streamed round 50 plus and classified and finished it and came with your video. Hey, nice, dude. Awesome. Congrats on your 50 plus friend. Uh, why is the cutscene on a high round? There's no steps involved. Just get to round 150. Yep, you will hopefully see in the next in 15 rounds what it looks like. It literally just pops up. Uh, me and my buddies went on a six win streak in Fortnite. Has 60 kills in, uh, in seven games. I know you're busy right now. If you can check out the squad feed, I have the grenade launcher at 75 meters. Uh, you didn't link anything, my guy. And I probably couldn't check it out right now anyway, so sorry. I'm sorry, dude. But you did not link anything. Um, I could maybe check it out after the stream if you link it. Um, Jake Sanderson. Oh, oh, that. There you go. You just linked in another donation. Okay, yeah. I, I will. I will check it out after the stream, I guy. For sure, for sure. Uh, so this is a fireboat tutorial, right? Yeah, yeah. This is step one. Secure the keys. Easy. Uh, R. Jason says, uh, hashtag blue screen. I love your hairline, but anyways, I found out this purple coin on my nine when I shot it disappeared. I can tweet uh. it to you if you're not familiar. Uh. R. Jason, don't do me like this, dude. Don't Please you don't do us like that. Don't you do me like this, dude. This is Kino teleporter buttons unknocked all over again. Yeah, big time. Gotta wrap the M14 game. And last but not least, uh, $15 from Fading Anthem says, gotta wrap the M14 gang. Ooh, looks, look at that. Looks like M14 gang is uh, is winning the donation war, so they are winning the, uh, the, the battle, so. But another war. What can I say? M14 gang, just as as a uh, general consensus, is more educated, smarter, higher earners. What can we say? Less good. Yeah, less good. No, less, that's less clearly good. not what is being shown here. I don't know. I want to tell you. Olympia gang uh, for life, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. All right. And last but not least, I uh, can't wait for the interview with Jason. We're at my last... Will blue screens be fixed before December? And Jason replies, pass. I mean, I'm, I'm ready to do the interviews. Like, I don't, I don't think there's gonna... <laughs> I hate, I hate uh, to be the one to break it to you, Milo. I don't know if you're going to do yeah. any interviews anytime soon, my guy. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the thing is like, it, I, I'm, I'm curious to see how they react to this because uh, like at the end of the day, I'm just an unhappy fan of the game who's made a video about being unhappy with the purchase, right? And if they do actually... Right, wait, 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 real quick, real quick. Are you actually yeah. unhappy with your purchase though? Like you, uh, it's, uh, content well, I, creation I, I, aside, have you feel I, I, like I, you've I, not gotten your $60 of fun out of, or $120 I mean, so, so of fun out of for, this game? For, um, like disclosure, like I said in my video, like I, I got sent the game, right? So like it's it, it's slightly different because I didn't actually purchase the copy that I'm playing on right now. But if I had purchased the game, I would be really unhappy. Yes. Really. Because like uh, my, my games are not game finishing. I'm crashing every time, and the things that I want I've wanted to do have not. I've not been able to do it simply because the game's been unstable. And it's like that's why I was saying in the video, like I, I have complete sympathy if you guys feel the same way as me and that's like if i if i buy a video game and you get to, it's like you're playing a, ga a, um, a game of fifa and you get to the 90th minute and it crashes every time i like i would return the game i just would and that's what's happened to me with with yeah, I the I, 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 I see the comparison you're making but, but i don't why, know i don't but, know but, if but, it's but, a one-to-one -one comparison not? i think it's even i think it's worse than zombies if anything mm. like what's the what's the difference i i, I think i think had, had the game stayed like it was at long launch, I would agree with you. I, I don't. But, so so like, the, the, the thing is for me though is that it, it still is like that. That's, that's just the problem okay, is because yeah, that, that is, is like not the experience, experience that I've had whatsoever. Right, honestly. right, right. Like that, that, for the last two weeks, it. my game has crashed 
given I have played significantly less, uh, not and not gone for high rounds, but I my game has barely crashed since in the last like two weeks or so. Right. Well, that, that's why I said at the beginning when I joined the call, like. Yeah, it's not the same I, 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 I should have I should have maybe made it more clear that my experience with the game personally might not be the same as yours, but I'm 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 only talking from my experience and like, yeah. for me, with the amount of crashing that I have had, yes, I would like I'd be really unhappy, but um. Had I had the amount that you've had, maybe I'd be fine. It's just the fact that it's like my patience ran out and I'm still crashing, and it's just like, come on, man. Chat, chat, because obviously me and Milo have very differing opinions on this, partially based on our own personal experience and everything. Town but uh, is I, I, I would. 14 quit oh, to admit oh, defeat. M14 gang four um, life, my dudes. I'll tell Raffles I will give him 14 quid to admit defeat. M14 gang for life, my dudes. <laughs> Sell off for 14 quid, dude. 14, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no 14 there, please. <laughs> Thank you very much. 14 quid. That's funny. Uh, but like, like I was saying, me, me and Mel obviously like agree on a lot of stuff uh, about the game and stuff like that, communication, and everything. But very, like, very much so disagree on whether or not like you feel ripped off by this game or I mean, like okay, not. So, so, no, no, no. Let let real, me... real quick, I just, I just kind of want to post. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, the sure. question real quick. So do you, do you guys feel like you have not gotten your money's worth? You've gotten ripped off by the game, uh, or do you do you feel like you are happy with your purchase? Because Milo, Milo right now, with his in-game experiences so far, does not feel happy with his like he doesn't he, he doesn't feel like he's received what he paid for essentially and or what I expected yeah or what you what he expected. And I, on the other hand, think I've gotten way more than sixty dollars of entertainment out of like YouTuber aside. I've gotten way more than sixty dollars of entertainment out of this game, so far. So I, I want I want to see if you, do you guys feel like your purchase has been worth it? Yes or no? Because I I just kind of want to see what everyone like 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 what the general consensus is. Uh, seems then, like yeah, that would give them a second to come through. Zero responses. Uh, it see it seems it seems like a somewhat mixed bag. I think I think I am seeing okay. more happies with it. Okay, fair, fair enough. And and I, and, th and that being said, that being said as well, I'm specifically asking about zombies, or, or I, I guess. I, and, and and if you answered if you answered no you're not happy does the fact that there's blackout and multiplayer change your opinion on that like that zombies is not the only thing that was included in this game like the zombies and mp have might sometimes crash like very very rarely though and they don't seem to have many issues at all so is, the, is your answer based solely off zombies because that's all you play or does including mp and blackout into that factor in your Cause, cause I, I, for me, for me, about it, that's, I mean, that's baffling that anyone would say, unless they just truly don't like the game, at its core. I, I, I it baffles me that anyone would say they haven't feel like they've gotten their money's worth from it. But I mean, I mean okay, so let, that's let me, coming let from somebody who loves the game, as well. Um, just like you, you specifically, not not necessarily chat. If or or, or chat as well. If. Uh, if you were in my shoes and every game that you had played, let, 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 let's let's go like full throttle. If, if every single match that you had played of Zombies since launch until now had crashed, do you think that your opinion would be any different? I mean, mine would, mine would be. I, okay. I, I... That's, that's essentially the experience that I've had is like, I've, I, I've, I've had maybe like three or four games in the last two weeks where I've actually died. And every single other game has been a crash. Yeah, that sounded my experience. All right, but but would that would that actually ch change your opinion that much? Do you think? I, I I don't think it would change my opinion on whether or not I want like wanted a refund, like wanted to return the game uh, again, uh, away from being a YouTuber and everything. I don't think it would actually change yeah, yeah, yeah. my opinion on whether or not I wanted a refund. I think it would definitely affect how what my uh, like upset levels were with the game, because obvi obviously yeah. obviously like. You, you feel a lot stronger about this, but that's also like you've had that bad of an experience on it so far. So, right. For me, I have like 
my experience was pretty trash week one. I think everyone's was. I don't think there was any hmm. debate about that. But I, since then, since like week two or so, it's been a lot better. Right. I just feel like my week one hasn't ended yet, basically. Yeah. Which is annoying. <laughs> and that, and again, that, that's not me saying, oh, it's perfectly fine that they have all these bugs. I don't I don't think that's I don't think it's okay. But I, that, that despite all the bugs, I still think I've got my money's worth out of this game and then some because I just I, I've had so much fun Easter egg hunting and despite the crashes and everything. Mm. Uh, I got a few more donos here. Have you tried putting the Ragnaroks in the Kino teleport? Oh, dude, you should try that. Yeah. Well, that's a good idea, dude. dude what? Nice, nice, dude. Uh, thank you, Hammer the, the Lar. Um, do I have a dog in my eye? Okay. Um, more ammo, more, more points, more kills. It's simple math. Hashtag M14 gang. Oh, that's why you guys can donate more? That makes sense. Thank you, Mr. Becker. Um, do you think that the, the uh, cooldown based uh, perks and elixirs, uh, perks and elixirs would be a lot better if it was kill based instead of time based system? Um, mm, I, I, I don't mind the time-based system. I just I think that they there's there's a happy medium b between where elixirs were for classics and where they need to be, um, especially compared to instant cooldowns on uh, on the paid ones. I think there's a happy medium somewhere there. Do you prefer Gobble Gum or Alexa? No. Uh, the system. Mm -hmm. mm, I think I, pr I think. I think there were parts that were... I, I don't think I would change BO3 system at all because I did enjoy parts of the Gobblegum system. Um, right. But that being said, I, I do like the... Like, uh, like uh, balancing stuff aside. Like, just basically, like, would you rather have the same system on BO4 the or on the Gobblegum or whatever? Uh, yeah. I, I like Elixirs. Five, I, think, I think it's nice to not have to worry about my Gobblegum and worry about more RNG in an already RNG game. Mm-hmm. Uh, one thing I do wish is uh, gun inspects on zombies. It, it, it kind of ruins that because of the D-pad. But even if there's just like hitting that select menu, that is basically just like right. Yeah. It's completely see-through. If you hit the select menu, you can emote from that menu or something, and like do a gun inspection or something. I think that'd be sick. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they could have figured out a solution to that. Yeah, it's just, again, it's just time before. Uh, right. I mean, it's priorities yeah. for them. Um, let me see here. Let's keep. Reading these, I put uh, I pay the 120 as an avid zombie fan. I feel disappointed. Aside from crashes, one of the most disappointing things for me was the alternate average times, uh, no, like dead wire, completely useless. Uh, and the pay to win. I, I wholeheartedly agree with you on the AA. I, I mean, we've talked a lot about the elixir, so we won't go into more on that because we sure. talked about that a ton. But I wholeheartedly agree with you that the alternate ammo types need to be buffed in a big kind of way. And I think it's kind of gone under the radar because no one's going for high rounds because they know how crashy they are. But I, it's back to almost BO1 style high round or BO2 high, uh, style high rounds where you hit the box for a new wonder weapon or you just use traps the whole time since uh, alternate ammo types are not reliable for getting through high rounds at a decent speed. I thought they were perfect in BO3. I don't know why they've been nerfed so much. I think the... Quite a lot of people didn't like them in Black Ops 3. Um, yeah, they, they thought that they were too OP. Um, I never understood. What do you mean too? Like, I, I've never understood yeah. that, that like, mentality. I understand when something's just, like, game... Like, like, like what's an example? Like, there's there's a difference when you, you can just, like, sit in a corner and so fire like, a gun okay, over so, and over and so get the around strat, 100. Right? The, like, the shield strat right now in, in, in Classified. Have you seen that? Right, yeah, yeah. So like that is something that I would like. I would not be upset if they nerfed. Like I think that that's 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 fair enough. They're gonna try and find a way to to change that. Whereas the AATs is just like, yeah, it's strong, but it's that's the game. That's fine. That's that how I feel about it at least. I don't, I don't know. I just as in, as in the Black Ops three ones, not yeah, the Black Ops yeah, four yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I I just, like like AATs like. I don't know. It's basically it basically allows you to have a gun that works. That is yeah. not a wonder weapon. Yeah. Past right. round fifty, because guns without like the, without AATs triggering are useless. Past like even round like forty, like yeah. they're not reliable and killers. They're just gonna round, go through round twenty pretty much. Yeah, I. So for me, AATs being nerfed is basically like okay, you can either use a wonder weapon or traps. Um. 
so I for me that's like I don't know I don't understand I don't understand the when it's not like just completely broken and easy to get to round 100 I I don't understand the argument of too OP mm -hmm. uh, as a especially when talking about alternate ammo types I don't know I think the so something that surprised me with this game as well is that they were like oh yeah okay Boas and all the the like high round support and da 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 but um right now it's weirdly like they've done weirdly little to actually affect the late game of zombies and so for the 200 hours you're going to need to put in to get to like round 300 mm -hmm. or more you you essentially just it's just the same as as it has always been except aats are worse now which i really was not expecting i thought that they were going to actually change the flow or just do something to it mm -hmm. but it's it's kind of not changed which i think is unfortunate because you like you, you spend maybe an hour setting up and then another 299 hours doing something else like yeah uh, like give us some kind of change in the formula track please maybe would be nice <sighs> I, I don't know because like high I, rounds are essentially just you do the same thing over and over again, and the person that can get the highest which, round. Which is why person. I like the classified Easter egg. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's something cool for high rounders that only. I mean, obviously, aside from the fact that Treyarch kind of ruined it for themselves, on mm. and ruined it for the community with having it like crashed and like pe people that normally get high rounds weren't able to actually get this first. The people who wanted to go for the glitches again, not like I I, I don't think it's right to blame the people who glitched. Uh, I, and like, I, I don't think it's right to get mad at the people who got up first in the world for glitching. I think it's, I think that blame should be placed on Treyarch. And mm. like, I, I, I don't, I, I think it's, I think it's misplaced when people are mad at those types of, like, like, like when it's impossible to do legit. I, I don't think people should be mad at the people who found a way around it, the impossibility that Treyarch presented us with. It's like it's in my opinion. I, I sympathize. I sympathize with the frustration. Um, it's just that, like, yeah, I think that ultimately those people are not the ones that have caused the game to be this way. Yeah. So. No, yeah. I, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, the end of the day, I think everyone would have preferred it be solved normally and done right. Why do we bake cookies for quick bacon? That, that didn't happen. And yeah. I think that's why there's so much frustration in the community today. Um, let me see. Everyone in the chat say, uh, no, no Spamarinos. No Spamarinos. Spamarinos. Yeah. Thank you, though. I'm happy with MP and Blackout. Also, I love Heist, but I agree with Milo. Zombies is, isn't up to par. I, I don't think Milo is saying it's up to, like, the experience itself is. I think Milo loves the game. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think he loves the game. Yeah. He just hates the how buggy it is. I think that's... It's like, I hate how buggy it is, and I hate, like, just the feeling of being so close to an experience that I would, like, fully love, and yet... There's just this niggling little tiny little thing that is just scratching away and it's just the blue screens and they just fix that and I'd be a happy boy. But yeah, it's so close, but so far. Uh, and being so close, I think, makes it makes it even more kind of like saddening. But well, my friends yeah. have had problems on MP. Let me see here. Um, think if that happens, I guess we'll do this. This is reading it out currently. Uninstall my game one paid one hundred thirty dollars for going back to W oh, gosh, W2 what? to finish out LVL uh, one thousand. You got your MP camos reset? Were you boosting? If you weren't boosting, then oh, you should probably act. Rip. You should probably uh, contact Activision Support. They could probably help you out with that, honestly. But if you were boosting, then you're probably. I mean, just, <laughs> then, uh, it is, it is what it is, do brother. not contact support. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, I'm still my game. I'm gonna go back to World War II to finish out level 1000. Hey, well, at least you have a new objective. <laughs> if, if that was, uh, you should definitely contact Activision Support if you were not boosting and you don't try to trick them. They can go back and look at your, like, why you were banned and stuff. But if you were really not boosting and they just got reset on accident, you should definitely tweet at them and see if they can help you out. Uh, Birdsey Light, why do we bake cookies but not bacon? That's a good question. Because baked bacon is actually delicious, by the way. If you if you put uh, black pepper and uh, cinnamon oh. on it, now Ooh. you're talking my language. Mamacita. Oh. So it's so good, dude. That's or not good. not not a uh, cinnamon, brown sugar, brown sugar. Uh, that's, that's what I was trying to say. Yeah, um, cinnamon would be a 
I, I a little question strong. that one. A little strong. Maybe, maybe. Uh, imagine going for the Great Origins DE and Garage Easter eggs and spamming L2 and R2 for four hours in a lift. Well, obviously, this is not how you're supposed to... Like, I'm not... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is another thing I wasn't going to mention until I got, like, to round 149. Um, but if I see one person in my chat being like, hey, congrats on second in the world, I'm banning you. You're out of here. <laughs> not really. I want to actually ban you because that's rude. But, like, this is not... I'm literally... The reason I am doing this is because I would like to see the cutscene without cartoon mode and without... Like, in-game, uh, yeah. I would like to see it in-game, and I would like to uh, see it without cartoon mode and, like, logos on it. So, I would like to see it in-game in and be able to... In all its glory. ...upload it without all the stuff on it. Yeah. So, um... So, yeah, that, that, that's the reason I'm... I'm not... Like, this... It, like, literally, I hit round 100, and then I, like, talked about how trash microtransactions were. Like, I'm not, this is not a real run in any way, shape, or form, and it should not be counted mm -hmm. as such. And I'm going to be dashboarding after I get the cutscene to not save my rounds. <sighs> um, okay, anyway, now that we have that out of the way. Mm -hmm. um, uh, for me, personally, I'm terrified to attempt any of the Easter eggs because the crashes don't want to lose them. my elixirs that I grinded for. Does anyone agree that drop rate for MP is way too low? Yeah, I think everyone does. And to to totally understand. What happened to totally, my totally ASMR understand. feet lick with extra tingles? You're out here killing dogs and blue screening on round 144. Oh, I, if this happens, oh. I hate you. Uh, old time, but daddy, what happened to my ASMR? Oh gosh, I can't even read that. No, I'm, I'm gonna skip that part. Uh, you're out here killing dogs and blue screening on round 144. Don't even. Don't you even. Thank you. Uh, Anthony, I'm not gonna read that, but thank you. Um, what, what else did I miss? Milo, stop playing Black Ops 4 and let Vape God Shop sponsor you instead. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. Um, it's a dumb deal, <laughs> baby. <laughs> uh, I spent uh, $60 for three games with zero blue screens, a ton of fun with my small groups of friends. My only complaint is people putting so many hours in are just better than me, Kappa. I, hey, I do. I, I Sounds fair, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I honestly think the people who are loving this game most are people who casually play, don't even really go for Easter eggs, because they yeah. have experienced the least <clears throat> badness that this game has to offer. And all the good parts, so that's sick. Uh, Moon Cadillac, thank you for that, too. Uh, did, I, thought, I thought there was another question that I was going to read off, but I can't find it. Um, can't do that, that Treyarch has uh, at least satisfied a majority of the community. Uh, with the content that have given up off, off disc and off the bat, five wonder weapons, four maps, etc. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree. I think I, I'm like, again, it, it's kind of a trade off in a way, and I wish it didn't have to be a trade off, but it is kind of a trade off uh, that we got a lot more content, but unfortunately, a lot more um, instability. A, a lot more instability, you know. I, I, I think it, I definitely think it's sick that they uh, did four maps at launch and everything. It's just uh, just a shame that we had a little bit of a trade off for that. Uh, forgot my last donation. I knew I missed one. J plays. Uh, no, I don't know why anyone was talking about this, but I can't put it. To, uh, wait, hold on. But I, I hate how you and your chain zombies they just walk away from you and, and when you get trapped, it's like World War Two. Um, yeah, the pop thing in this game is messed up. Yeah, there's a sure. there's some there's some bugs that weren't there at the start, at least that I noticed with pathing. And uh, one thing that is not a pathing issue, or maybe it's a glitch, and it's just a really really weird one. Zombies mm. actually don't stand in nukes; they go around nukes. So if you get a nuke drop, the zombies will actually walk around it. Um, yeah, I've seen that a couple times now. Yeah, is that? Yeah, it's, is it's, that a, it's a thing. A thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's intentional or Why? not. Why? Uh, I hell? guess maybe so if you're in a bad spot, you can grab the nuke without having to run into zombies. I, it's it's kind of weird. It's it's a weird change. It's I, I don't yeah. I don't know how I, I don't know if it's a good or bad thing. It's kind of neutral for me. But uh, that might also be what you're what you're experiencing. I mean, um, there's definitely like there's a lot of things that when you're playing on overseas connection, you experience like you get turned around in this game where you didn't before. Oh yeah. Um. And that is like that's really bad. That means that I've like I've had to play all my games with all my auto assist and, and stuff off on console, which feels really strange. Oh yeah. Um, Fine. I'll just just because otherwise you literally get one eighty randomly and, and you just die because of it. Mm. On round 144. Um, yeah. Odd. Yeah. 
Not good. Yeah, I still get that even when I'm on my post connection too. I actually had that just, just hunting just around couple, thing. Yeah, just a couple of rounds ago. It's just the auto aim wow. locking on to zombies. It should be locking on to. Weird. Yeah. Um, Oh, you're, Tim, you're saying that happened to your friend's account. Okay, I, I see. It wasn't your camo that got reset, it was your friend's. Gotcha. Um, let's see. On PC, almost half my guns are maxed out, can't attachments on. The only bug fixing last week was the, uh, fixing the menu that broke with the patch. Yeah, I've seen an issue with some of that. I don't know how to fix it, though. I actually had an issue with uh, putting on attachments. Um, but it, it, it just didn't work for me. So I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to fix it, my guy. Sorry. Uh, Moon Cadillac, thank you for that six ninety nine. Appreciate that. Bacon cheeseburger from Wendy's, though. I mean, random, but I agree. Thank you. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, fine, I'll make some chili cheese nuggets and watch this, the satisfaction around one forty four. Dude, if I crash on one round one forty four, Olimheim, you're unmodded and banned. All right. Oof! 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 <laughs> you better, you better hope. You better hope. Yeah, you better be praying, boy. <laughs> Uh, Net Hour says one minute video Dog of Wisdom if you haven't seen it funny stuff. Uh, I will check that out after stream. Like, I have not seen that. I don't even know what that is. Dog of Wisdom, interesting. Uh, will we finally see the Great War this year, Oscar? If I had to guess, no. We're just gonna prepare for the Great War for a DLC season and then see it next game. TBH. Or maybe DLC four. We'll see. Um, season two, boys. Season two would be sick. DLC 8, lads. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Alan McCarthy missed my tip room. Always manage to miss one. Alan, Alan, Alan. Where art thou, Alan? Uh, uh, zombies alert! If your game isn't crashing, you've had any. If you and if you haven't had any issues after the update, why are you glitching for high rounds? Come on, dude. Um, it's a lot of it's a lot of a lot of stuff to break down here. Wait, what? Smiles. <laughs> uh, got donation donation on. If your game isn't crashing and you haven't had issues after the update, then why are you using a glitch for high rounds? Come on, dude. Um, question marks. <laughs> yeah, just, just, just yeah, question, that, that mark. question mark me. Uh, I don't know if you've actually like watched any high round classified attempts like in the last month, and more specifically since you're referring the latest update the last week. But no one's really made it past like round 90, and that's and round like one to 90 is like not even a third of the way to round 150. Uh, so. I don't know, that, that, that part's a little bit of a question mark right there. And, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't really feel I need to respond. I think it, it's gotta be a joke. It's gotta be a joke. Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean Sorry, at the end of the day, cutscene's been found. I, I wanna see a high quality version with no, with no watermarks and, uh, not, no cartoon mode. And, uh, Show what it actually looks like when you achieve it, since there's no actual footage of that happening on YouTube yet. So, glitch or not, reset my account or not, whatever. That's that's why I'm doing what I'm doing, and I mentioned that multiple times. But cool. Dude, can you imagine if you get to 150 and it doesn't play, and it has actually been 255 this whole time? <laughs> Dude, and we just got debated. <laughs> we got fully debated. I, I yeah, would not uh, even be mad. I'd be even more impressed, honestly. Be a moment. Yeah. <laughs> Um. Okay, I feel like I. Hold on, I gotta make sure I don't die here. I think the I think that's every, everything. Uh, sorry, uh, dude. Uh, Alan, I'm so I can't I cannot find your dono, my guy. I don't know where it went. Oh gosh, here we go, round 44. 144 boys here we go so what, what happens if you hit round 50 and nothing happens uh i cry and then go another hundred rounds baby go another hundred and yeah another hundred and five rounds easy hell yeah dog uh all of says milo help me milo can't help you dude if you if i crash on this round 
You're gonna experience a world of sadness that you've never felt before. Yep. I'm a, I'm a help knower. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna make sure that you feel the pain, bro. <laughs> uh, I just throw that in there. But round 147 blue screen with the error message. This one is for being uh, for not being in the Olympia gang. Yikes, dude. Only an Olympia gang member would think that was a good good idea right there. <sighs> wow. That really. That, I, who, who inspired you guys with so much confidence that you can just think you can show your faces in public now? The truth, no, the truth inspired me. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Naruto fan, do you think there will be eight players in the next zombie map? My guy, it, dude, zombies can't even support four players right now. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think they can do eight? I, I, well, actually, I know this. I know the system itself allows for eight players because it was a, possible to do it in BO2. But that being said, um, uh, probably a zero percent chance, I would say. That it actually is a thing that can you can do and not a glitch. Uh, no, I mean my friends found this weird gold helmet with wings in the shelf of nine. Uh, that is part of a uh, yeah, that's been found since day one. Uh, it's I actually has that been part of an Easter egg that's been found yet? It's unsolved. It's, it's unsolved. unsolved. Okay, it's unsolved so far. So if you find out what to do, uh, there's a cup that you can pick up and a sword that you can sword. pick up as well. So uh, if you figure out what to do with that, let us know. Um, and they all go on the Viking body. I will feel your feet crushing the top of my head. Oh, stop! Oh my, what dude, the... what? Is... Jesus Christ! What the? Uh, question marks again? Right. <laughs> Bring them we're, really, we're really out of here, dude. It's nice, right? <laughs> Blundell's blue screen scheme, two dollars. That's a nice round you got there, son. Too nice. <laughs> Yeah, Blundell's blue screen scheme has been following me around for weeks now, apparently. Uh, if you crash, make sure to play Despacito. Okay, yeah, Despacito too. Inbound. Thank you, Sad Alexa. Um, Is there a count name, Sad Alexa? <laughs> um, <laughs> Noah, get Rafflecopter to teach you some British slang on screen. I feel like that would go well. British slang. Oh, British slang, right. Number one, plums. 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 That was the one I used in my video. Yeah, plums. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, said the game can't have been rushed if they had three years. You do not know how development works, my friend. It takes a long time to make these games. I mean, literally, it's basically been a three-year rush for them. <laughs> yeah. Like they've been rushing the whole time. Yeah. And even longer. Yeah. How does it feel to be third in the world to complete this? I'm your band, Donnie. I, it's not. It's literally just so we can get a clean recording of the cutscene. I thought you guys might be interested how it was done. Okay? Where's the controller? Where's, Where's the, the controller? controller? <laughs> um, spooky. Uh, yeah, wait, I just re responded to that. Why am I seeing this again? Oh, okay. I, is that is it using Streamlabs? Yeah. Yeah, it like repeats messages for me or it was last night. I don't know why. I think it's just a glitch they've got going on right now. Weird. Aha, round 145. Got you, dude. Yeah, I, I, I think the first person, I think the per person who should be credited with first in the world for this, uh, in terms of like, who should be applauded for like, wow, that you're a really good zombie player is the first person to actually get to it once the crashes are fixed, for sure. Right. I think that that is the true display of skill. What I'm doing right now is very clearly not a display of skill. And I should not be credited for anything. And if you are doing that, you will be banned. Um. I'm confused. Do you have to get to a specific round to do the Easter egg? Yep, 155. That is the unlock. 150. Uh, one, yeah, 150, sorry. Uh, In-game in interchangeable with premise and ne next ether map? Uh, no, I think, they, I think they're gonna... The, the, I think they're gonna... They're, they're, they're always gonna have, like, set characters for maps. I don't think they're gonna ever have, like, customizable characters aside from this game. Um... Tell Model I will look his cheesy feet uh, Noah J playable character, by the way? Yeah, Black Ops 3 mod, dude. It's out there if you want it. Oh, that's true, actually. It's yeah. called the best mod. Uh, about uh, this, this, the stream shaking is, is making me sick. Yeah, I'm sorry. There's literally nothing I can do about the constant shaking. It's kind of a, uh, That's why I keep looking away. You literally don't even need to look to do this because it's not a display of skill! Well, you're really skilled. <laughs> you're really good, dude. You're really good at the game. Seth Meadows says another day, another controller, another day, another controller, another day. Okay. Thank you. Um, have a good luck, Dono. Thank you for the 935 max. Appreciate you very, very much. Edgar, thank you for the one. Uh, so which premise group 
Uh, I'm not gonna read that. Sorry, trooper. Um, actually, let me mute real quick. Milo hasn't seen the cutscene yet, I don't think, so I'm not gonna ruin it. Which group is that? Uh, it's not, it's not, it's, it seems like it's not the Blood of the Dead group. It, it's Blood of the Dead group and Ultimus. Okay, now that I've done reading that out, muted. Let's get back. It's Blood of the Dead group and Ultimus, basically. Uh, next blue screen, 147. Why do you hate me, Ultimus? <laughs> uh, also, I'm not reading that other one. And nothing about feet will ever be read in this channel. I'm, le I'm letting you guys know right now. Uh, missed my tw 25 dono. I might have to switch to the Olympia gang now. No! Okay, I'll find it! I'm sorry! <laughs> never, <laughs> never switch, drop. Let me see. Do it, switch. Uh, sorry, Milo. I love you, man, but the M yeah, MK14 gang for life. I love you, Noah, too. Big time fan. Thank you. MK14. Yeah. Also, you're gonna need to. You're gonna if you're gonna be allowed in this. Uh, allowed in the the M14 gang. You gotta you gotta just say M14. There's no K. No K, my guy. But thank you. <laughs> um. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Next blue screen greater than 147. Uh. No, you should make a shirt and uh, write on it. Keep calm and throw your controller. Uh. Sorry. I don't want to inspire my rage on the innocence of America. No, like it's not you a should good make idea. a shirt and wire it to me. Keep calm and throw you your America, controller. I appreciate you. Alright, so we're caught up finally. On a Fortnite win streak, 60 kills in a game. You got 60 kills in a game, Oscar? Support. S send that to some records, dude, because you just broke one. I don't know where the record side is for Fortnite. But... Send that to some records. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Leroy Jenkins and Resident Evil, thank you both for your dollars. And no, I have a quick question for you. Caught up. Yeah. Do you know how the sentry works in this game? The sentry gun? Yeah, because I've got one in my game right now, and I keep trying to use it, and it like... I hold the suitcase, but I don't put the thing down. Flat surface, maybe? I'm... like, I'm in the... I'm... yeah, it's flat here. Just, just tap it. Just tap it. And I think it, it worked perfectly for me. Yeah, it's not... I've used it once, so it was trash, and I never used it again, but... Oh, really? Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, it's I good on insta-kills. It It'll melt on insta-kills. Right. But then, then again, you can do that. You don't need a sentry gun to do that. Uh. Um. Tell, tell Milo to read out the first two numbers of your current round number. Uh, of my current round number? No, or my, or current, my current round number. Oh, um. Dragon's Breath, <laughs> by the way. Let's get it. Sorry, Noah, but it's Shiva Gang for life. Whoa, 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 King. King, you cannot just come in here and start introducing BO3 guns. Absolutely not, dude. This is a discussion between the Olympia Gang and the M14 Gang. Don't you bring the Shivas and the RK5 Gang into this. Listen, listen. We can't, we can't be having an all-out gang war here. One at a time, dude. One at a time. <laughs> One gang war at a time, please. <laughs> Oh, uh, Noah, I feeding. No, you gotta be kidding me, dude. Stop with the feet, Olamheim. Stop it. Get what some help. What is going on? It's the same guy. He just loves feet, apparently. Oh, God. DSR 50 gang, by the way. That's not a gang. That's not a gang. <laughs> not, That's no, one man. That's dude. just not a gang. <laughs> Thank you, though. So, so Great much. gun. Not a gang. Um, not Olympia a gang, equals boys. a plum. Yeah, I agree. Hell yeah. Wait, no, wait, no. <laughs> you agreed. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> That's because plums are good, dude. Hell yeah. Uh, cutscene is around 145.5. You have to kill exactly half the zombies you get. That is not true. Clearly. Um, you're doing great, bro. Like you said earlier, it's part of your job and had to be done, so keep it up. Yeah, I, I mean, I understand if people aren't a fan that I'm doing, that I'm streaming this game and doing this game right now. But at the end of the day, like, it's my job to have the, like, Cutscene up and have it in nice quality and like and have it in not cartoon mode and like explain what's going on. I, the only difference is instead of making a video talking about it, I'm like actually doing it. And can't get banned for it, so I don't know if that was I'm probably just dumb. I'm probably just dumb. Hashtag Weevil Gang. Uh hashtag Weevil Gang Hey JP, that is a gang. Weevil Gang is an actual gang. That is the only non starting weapon. Uh, gun that is actually a gang. That is a weeble gang. Thank you, JP. That's what I'm talking about. Old time age. Thank you. Um, let's see. Miss my
my dono, but good luck, dude. Yo, thank you, uh, Jono. I, I, I don't, I, I'm making sure I'm not missing any, but. It's Streamlabs, dude, I'm pretty sure. I had the exact same problem last night, and it was just not showing random people's donors. Yeah. Um. Anyway, another, a dollar a day keeps the blue screen right. Thank you, Leroy. I only need it for four more rounds. Appreciate you much. Uh, FALDSW gang, we're like Brecky gang. What are you talking? What are you? Stop. Just get some help. Uh, I would rather make toast in a bathtub than do this. I don't know how you have so much patience. It makes it a lot better to stream it and talk to Milo and talk to you guys. So, it makes it a lot better. You're all weak. Dual will be yeah, if you were just sort of Olympia gang. off stream Hashtag on your own, I think that, I mean, I would definitely be Very much, I, I would just not enjoy doing high round stuff at all if I was never streaming it and stuff like that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, RK5 gang, Joe, again, you're just bringing another game into this. That is not the Weevil gang, so can't, can't, can't embrace your discussion here. Three more rounds, boys, three more rounds. Um... If you are M14 gang, press the elevator button. Okay. There we go. Boom. I will never not prove my loyalty to the M14 gang. <laughs> if um, you're a M14 gang, end your game. I'm not. I'm not taking these tricks from a dirty Olympia <laughs> gang member. God damn it. <laughs> dirty Olympia. Imagine I actually hit it in game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like no, 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 no. <laughs> SX model 07 gang for life. Anonymous, you're banned. I'm gonna find your oh. username and chat your band. Yeah, Apothic and Servant Gang. Questionable. Dude, you guys cannot just sit, put a gun and then put gang at the end of it. Anyone would like to sort this. Say it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah great, dude. Well, no, it doesn't work. Please uh, actually do that. You're all weak. Enough. Dual wield an M14 and Olympia Gang. Uh, dude, you're weak for not picking a side, dude. You're weak, you're weak for just wow. thinking you can play both sides. Wow. <laughs> I'm very serious about this. This is a serious thing. I, I've just noticed, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I like feet too. Cold, no one, stop. Guys, no. what? <laughs> no, enough. Only one way to sort this out, Milo versus Noah, 1v1 Nuketown Olympia uh, versus M14. Please actually do that and stream it. Oh, oh come I'm, on, I'm, too I'm, easy, I'm, bro. Oh, okay, all right, we're 1v1ing one day. <laughs> not, not this day, but we will 1v1. You think you'd win with an Olympia against my, oh, wait, are we using each other's guns or our own guns? I mean, our own guns, what kind of, are you trying to get my M14? Nice try, kid. <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> um, FALDSW gang, day, JK more like Brecky gang. Stop! You can't. It's not how it works. There's two gangs. There's three gangs. Thundergun gang. Stop. No, uh, that's a gang. Say Hello? Johnny has that's a big a nose, please. What does that mean? Um. Let's see. Gooer 43 gang or Car 98 gang? Anyone? Stop. But for real though, now you no do one actually even see played me. those games before, dude. Uh, SMR gang for life. I'm not even gonna read the rest of your donation now, so. <sighs> Savage. What's the solid stream? Bongo Cat awaits. Uh, solid stream. I don't know, dude. I haven't done one in forever. I don't know, dude. We'll see. Once you get round 149 stream Call of Duty Ghosts throughout the entire round. Uh, this is not a Mr. T Lex Fi stream, so I will have to sadly decline. Thank you. Uh, Flamethrower gang, LMAO. Rare pork chop. Stop. Just because you're a pork chop doesn't mean you can just say whatever you want. Um. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they have $50 from Big Black Hawk, who says Olympia Gang. Oh, oh great. my gosh. Great. Olympia Gang, baby. $50. You well, I guess Olympia Gang one. is the current winner. Shoot. See, only um, only an M14 gang member would fall for something like that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, let's see. That Car98 gang, OG. Jackson Page, thank you for the dollar. M1911 gang, it's not a gang. Uh, it's about the blue screen gang. Again, not a gang. Thank you, blue. Uh, Sad Alexa, who is, w when Basin Jundell or Lason Blund Jeb? Excuse me? Blund Jeff? <laughs> I don't, I, I literally can't even okay. read what SMR gang for life, again, not a gang. Uh, dude, stop with the donations that just say a random gun and gang. Stop it. Uh... <laughs> Solved BO4, we're gonna try Red Dead Redemption 2 and hoping bu for Bully, uh, uh, hoping for Bully 2 next. Yo, good, good luck on your endeavors, dude. Sorry you didn't enjoy the game. I really like it, though. Sad boys. Uh, hi, enjoy hi guys, Mr. Ruffle here. Thank you, uh, for th that. Rest in pieces. What's an Olympia? That's what I'm thinking, David. Thank you. Sorry, be the Olympic King is the Warrior because thank Milo, I can get the Fire Bow. 
Uh, thanks, Milo. Much what? love. I don't know what that <laughs> word means. Firebow. Okay. Uh, I don't like feet. Uh, thank you, Noble. Um, <laughs> Gersh gang. <laughs> Gersh device like gang. Feet. Stop. Come on, Noah. You can make it. Thank you, Frank, for the first on-topic comment of this entire stream. <laughs> thank you. Your wife's a very lucky lady. I need a man that can get to high rounds. I'm not doing anything impressive. This is literally stupid. This is dumb. I wish I was now. actually doing a real attempt in which it took me multiple tries. I got a sense of satisfaction. You know, how did you, how did you figure out this strap? M14 gang shall blue screen. Stop, Jess. Dude, just because you say it doesn't mean it's actually true. Um, well, I will say about that. Second in the world gang, rip. Stop. Still your unofficial <laughs> sponsor. Thank you, Team McDonald's. Scarlet gang, get out. Um, H H uh, VK30 gang for life. Great gun, not a gang. Once again, still not a gang. Uh, Dingo Dango Dongo gang. Love the reference. Still not a gang. Uh, thanks for all the content. Hashtag Waffle Brigade. Hashtag M14. Ooh, send yourselves a good old fashioned yeah, Raider here. Um, HVK30 gang, only member. Hey, thank you. Uh, still not a gang. You peasant Springfield gang. Dude, literally, uh, stop. This is coming in too fast to read. Shiva gang, thank you. Uh, if you use the Olympion buried enough, you get the ray gun. Uh, Olympia gang equals ray gun gang. Well, good thing the ray gun has been garbage since the beginning of time. And but literally, it's still better than the M14. <laughs> Ripped M14. Yeah, you, you, dude, you got you Olympia boys are gonna need some god tier RNG to make your gun better. That's for sure. I'll tell you what. Uh, don't need anything to make it better than the M14, though, do we? Oh. <laughs> Firebow gang, you're literally banned. Thank you. Uh, you know, I'm gonna feel your feet. Your work. stop with the feet, Olamheim. Oh, easy, easy. Olamheim has donated two hundred and ten dollars this stream, what and literally fuck? everyone has has to do with feet. Oh my god. Free patch zombies. Uh, free patch zombies. Spaceland boss fight gang. Oh my god. I hate Hell you for yeah, bringing dude. that up. That was, that was legit. That bro. was actually really fun. I that was most really one of the most frustrating. Happened. Like, what's wrong with me? times of my life, but I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, <laughs> What's wrong with me <laughs> times of my life? <laughs> Round 150 gang, I like that, thank you. Still not a gang though. Uh, where's the controller gang, thank you. Uh, any chance were you at the... Yeah, I'm not gonna read it, but yes, I was. Yes, I was. Uh, Jesus, so I was seeing my little cousins perform in the band. I'm not gonna read it off where it was, but thank you. Yes, I was there. You probably saw me, hello friend. Um, am I missing an EM1 gang? Dude, Is it? did you just make... A... Gucci gang, stop. Christopher, thank you. Atomic, thank you. Dude, this is, why is this coming in so fast for all these trash memes? If you were to choose M14 gang, you'd use the SX Model 07 for the stream. No, I would use the M14 if it existed, but it doesn't. Noah, you can make it. E for C gang, also ask Martina if she's the M14 Olympia gang. Uh, I would if I could yell that loud, but she's too far away right now. She can't hear me up here. Let me try. Olympia, <laughs> so close, dude. <laughs> so close, dude. Gang, uh, AS gang. ASM1 gang, thank you, Jay. Mustang and Sally gang, thank you, Daniel. No150 gang, thank you, Jason. Gang bang. <laughs> you, Jordan. Okay. You're not truly Lord of the M14 gang unless you're in the game at 149. I, you, nice try, Olympia gang user. Uh, when you stood in the US but there's no Nando's, ask Milo if you'll open one here. Pepe hands. Nando's um, is, is actually highly overrated. Just saying. <laughs> no, it is, dude. Like, that's not even a meme. It's legit. Nando's oh, is super it, overrated chicken, bro. I've only had it once, and it was pretty good. So M14 I can't say much. gang is best. Uh, oh, Fading best. Anthem with the 50 bomb. M14 gang is best. End of discussion. That's what I like to freaking hear, my guy. Hey, we're on round for 149. Let's get it. Moose Gang, thank you, Austin. Uh, I love Noah Gang. All these gangs, any gang base, I thank you, Lola. Moot Gang, get, thank you for that. Milo unsubbed you, Little Firebow. Thank you, David. Uh, Indie <laughs> Legends with a $5. Love you both, Legends. PS Transit Gang. Can we start a practice? Bring back the Swerve and the Zombies Juking. Yes, Alec, thank you. Uh, John, thank you. Envies, thank you. Tanner, thank you. Oh, gosh. Uh, Channel, Zweihander Gang. Stop! It's not a gang! <laughs> no, Trying that's a gang, gang, dude. That's a gang. Uh, P.S. Very impressed with your high rounds skills. Congrats on the second in the world. You're literally banned on so many fronts right now. It's not even funny. <laughs> um, the strat is... Oh, oh my gosh. Dude, where, it's literally scrolling too fast. Galvanicles gang. 1-2 Magoo gang. Thank you, J. Robert and Kyrian. 
MP4 Gang, thank you, Zach Silvers. Moon Best Map Gang, thank you, Net Hour. David CH, I love Noah Gang. Uh, Wonderwalk DG2 Gang, Under the Sea, Blood of the Dead Gang, thank you, Minotaur and Lucas. Great reference there, thank you. Qr43 Gang, Chase Rogers, thank you. Will you donate if uh, $100 if you restart? No, thank you, Gang, thank you. Uh, <laughs> no, thank you, Gang. Kill us, thank you. Jason, uh, thank you. Cody Hustons, The Feet Gang, I hate you. Uh, Firebow Gang, Spork, thank you. Uh, pretty sure your chat has become insert favorite gun here, gang. SMH, and the only true gang is the M14 gang. Thank you, the only person who understands it, gang. Thank you, Black Puma. Uh, Arthur, save your money by the MP5 gang. Uh, I imagine having to be able to, uh, ha only having to be able to place your claim out of this post was made by the tri Trip Mine gang. Stop it! <laughs> Terminally ill gang. Oh, that's dark. Thank you, Stephen Wonder. Um, uh, what are we talking about, gangs? Uh, why are we talking about gangs on my favorite Christian channel? I don't know, Sweet Sacrifice. Thank you. Ryan, often dogs, the boys, for fellow or What are you even saying? Thank you, Joe. <laughs> How many kills do you have? LOL, just curious. I don't know. It doesn't show in this in this glitch. Um, Scum Gang, thank you for that. Feet Gang, thank you. Imagine only having to reload after two shots. This was post was made by the M14 Gang, aka the best gang. Thank you. Um, oh, gosh, dude. I'm tr literally reading so fast, and there's... Oh, gosh. Uh, Noah J Gang, thank you. Uh, Last Year Rick Toffin Gang, thank you for the $10. Edward, thank you for the $1. Club, uh, we're people, we on each other, gang. Great reference, love that show. Still not a gang. Um, you don't know me, gang. Uh, no gang affiliation get, gets 150. Thank you for not being gang affiliated in 2018. It's great. Awesome. We need a comp of you blue screen and Blundell and Vani showing up in, in Witty Evil Laughs. Yes, uh, that already exists without the Evil Laughs. But you can check that out on my YouTube. Thank you, gang. Uh, I keep saying gang. I... Uh, <laughs> Lamp Gang, thank you, Eroy. Bernsey Lad, uh, ass Raffle with the first letter of his name is plus the letter, letters of his channel name, add one. Dragon's Breath. Oh boy, here we go. This post was made by the uh, doesn't know injured. how to follow instructions gang. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hold on. We got to get through all these gangs before I get to 150. Yeah, um, when, when you start taking over, uh, like, are you going to mute or do you need me to mute? Uh, you, you're, you're, I, you're I not watching the other side. I will. Oh my gosh, it's gonna happen. What is happening, dude? Gang, gang, dude. Gang, gang. Dear Noah and Milo, I'm gonna fix your world. Dear, I didn't even get to, I didn't, how did I, I that was a hundred bomb and I missed it from Olamheim. How far back was this? Olamheim, what did you even say? What did he even say, chat? Oh gosh, Milo should take it easy on Blundell. He's so much. He's done so much for the community, including Zombie Chronicles. Bo4 is the only uh, struggle because he's trying to make it so good for the community. Thank you, Banana Soup. Um, I mean, like, just very, very quickly on that point. I I don't think we need to go easy on them when we're paying for them to do that. Like, it's a consumer product, right? Fair. 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 Okay. All right, everybody freaking stop right now. I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna find what this donation said from Olamheim. Oh gosh. This post was made by the I Wanna Die gang. All, <coughs> dude, literally, where is it? I can't, Olamheim, I can't find it, dude. I, can't, I literally can't find it. This, this has just gone terribly wrong. I just want to get done with all of these donos before the cutscene, but I can't read. All right, here we go. Rap God mode. Hold on. Is there like a free rap beat that I could use? Is there like a copyright free rap beat, Milo? Do you know if one exists? Um, I don't. I don't know if I have one downloaded. Let me see. I I, I don't know of one off to hand, but I'm sure there's ones on Google that you could find. But it would be like you'd be risking it's a, it's a risk. trusting Google. Yeah. Here we go. We're gonna find a rap beat. Uh, oh, we'll just put on epic music. How about this? Oh. Wait, wait. That's not What's a good one. What's the rap beat for? That's not a good one. That's not a good one. Are you rapping about why the LMP is the best gang? No, no. I'm rapping my donations because I gotta get through all of them really fast, as fast as humanly possible. Oh, okay. Hell yeah, rap god. Um. Here we go. How about? How about this one? How's this one? <coughs> All right, here we go. Here we go, chat. <laughs> Hype me up, chat. Hype me up. We're going to get through all these donuts right now. Here we go. Those ABCs going, baby. <clears throat> Roll it. Peter Piper picked up Peppa Peppers. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. 
He's right here we go, here we go, here we go. Kevin Burgess, thank you for the two dollars fee gang. Michael Stripper, thank you for the two dollars scum gang. Alex Roy, thank you for the five dollars. Imagine having to reload two shots in for team gang. Tmar, thank you for the two dollars in your gang affiliation. You're around one fifty. Lamp gang for the five dollars. Eroy, thank you so much. Jack's protocol, Black Cody on TS, MW2, Gazzle gang. Uh, Springfield gang, Ken Army Jack, Net Hour, Turtle Bang gang, Nick Johnson. When is he for It's probably gonna be in December sometime. Possibly we don't really know yet. You've got Howard, thank you so much for the my pain hurting gang. Waffle do Waffle gang. Uh, Fernando Hernandez, uh, Return to BO4 Gang, Sexy Foot, thank you for that weird link and sexy donation foot thing. Uh, Alexander Barks, uh, what, he, what happens if you ban for this discussion? Very, very, very sad. Sasuke, uh, my game crash gang, uh, Mr. Shark, I don't feel so good. Yeah, Oxtail Flipper, you're ridiculous. Thank you, too. Uh, Joshua, thank you for legitimately putting this gang after we're a gang. Tina Janata Gang, it's a club, it's a gang. Uh, PS2 Man, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. Dark Shadow, this post is made by Blue Gang. Ah, I can't read! Ethan Pennington, thank you for Blood Gang. Daniel Pennington, thank you so much for the Nerds Me Senpai Gang. Uh, Abstract Green, how many letters to drink? And uh, Dragon's Breath, Mr. Rock Waffles, 14 because the M14 is the best weapon. Mr. T-Sex, Five says Booty Gang, Six uh, Section says, When are you going up on the Gangs? I'll be here in the ICR. Hush my child, they'll go away. Thank you so much. Elijah Wood, thank you for the Chains to Show Gang. Uh, Tepu, BO4 Gang. That's my person. I don't know where you're going. Thank you, Omega Hole. No, no, November Games. Uh, Chance, Andrew, wait, the. Here we go. Here we go. This is more of a rabbit here. Tombstone Gang, thank you so much for the donation. PS2 man. Mada Chachi, yes. Thank you for the Faha Gang. Milo, it's the kind of guy who walks out of a bus without thinking. The bus driver says he paid to do that. Sad Alexa with the $3 loan. Razor, the blue coin on boy, and just somehow there for the classified Easter egg. Bob the kangaroo with the two dollars. He says, Blunder gang, I agree. Blunder got all day. Brady Lewis, specialist stories, zombies, and VO2 eggs. Donnie, please don't ban me. I bet you can have a happy day. Anonymous with the three five dollars. With the five dollars. Tasty Noah looks like toast sucking gang. That's not a gang. I almost just ended my game. That would have been really sad. Fading Anthem says, Peter Piper picked up Pekka Pickle Pepper. Pekka Pickle Pekka Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper Pickle Pekka Pepper Pick up Piper Pick. If the Pekka Peeper Piper Pickle Pekka Pepper. Pepper. Okay. I don't like peppers. Pepper. Okay. Zombie okay. gang. Big Jacob. Yeah. Big D gang. We oh, are oh. going to blue screen rapping. I'm gonna go ahead and end the game now. Yep. No. All right, we're done. We caught up. No more okay, donations. Hell yeah. We're done. I'd just like to formally uh, thank all the bus drivers on the planet real quick. <laughs> that was pretty funny. That was pretty that funny. <laughs> that absolutely killed me. How close do you reckon you are? Uh, I it's over halfway through the round. I'll meet up. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Top five rappers Tupac feared beefing with. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. What was that beat? It's hopefully one that's not gonna get me copyrighted. I've never actually used that in a video before, but. Oh, is this the end of the Oh, no, not yet. All right, boys, here it is. I'm gonna mute so Milo doesn't yeah. hear. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I would like to make a few things clear. I would like to make a few things clear. Number one, if one single person tries to give me any sort of second in the world, dude, you did it, great job, Noah. Credit for this, I am banning you. Okay, you're banned. I don't want any sort of credit. Secondly, this was done using glitches. This is not impressive at all. The first person who does this glitchless is going to be the person who, in my eyes, is the legitimate winner of this Easter egg hunt. That being said, we have to wait for Treyarch to do this. Why did I do this? Because it is literally the only way possible to get this cutscene at the current moment. If it was possible to get it without the game crashing, I would have gone for it that way, but unfortunately, it is not possible. And I would like to see the, the cutscene without cartoon mode. Okay? What else? What else? If the game blue screens right now, I will delete my YouTube channel. Uh, have we covered all of our bases here? Have we covered every one of our bases? <sighs> have we, have we, did, did we cover everything? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be, uh, dashboarding after I get the cutscene in order for my round to not save. I'm going to be dashboarding afterward. Or I might go for 255 to see if there actually is another cutscene at 255. I'll probably crash before then. Anything else? Did we cover? Did we cover everything? Did we cover everything? Yes. 
No? Oh, you chat. My entire chat's banned right now. Last but not least, if you guys could do me a huge favor, if you have not already, leave, leave. Uh, oh my gosh, I, I killed my voice box after wrapping those donations. Uh, everybody, leave a like on the stream right here, right now. Let's see if we can hit 10k likes right now. If every single person leaves one likes, we'll get to 40k likes, and that should be, that would be pretty sick. But and also, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. Are we ready? Let me know if you're ready in the chat. Let me know if you're ready. Can I get a blue screen in the chat if everybody's ready? If you've left a like, you've subscribed, and you're ready for the cutscene, hashtag blue screen in the chat. Cool? I'm waiting, I'm waiting until I see these blue screens. I'm waiting, I'm waiting until, let's, let's see if we can hit 10k likes, get those blue screens up. Oh, baby, that is, that is shooting, uh, that is quite a bit of blue screens. Okay, and that is it. 10k likes. Sick. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The ending cutscene to Classified. I'll be uploading this without my face cam on my channel. I'll be uploading this without face cam on my channel, if you guys would like to watch. But I'll keep my face cam on for this part. Uh, but this is it. The ending cutscene to Classified. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Four must come with us. In time, it will make sense. Now. Now we must go. Quickly. There is a war to be fought. War? What kind of war? A war unlike any you have ever seen. The Great War. The Great War. Wow, that was really, really low volume, chat. That was exceptionally low volume. I don't know why that was so, so low. The voices were like... Too <laughs> it was so low. Okay, I, I will definitely upload it. I'm going to upload it normal mode on my channel and boost the volume up so that you guys can... Uh, so that you guys can hear it. Um, so that you guys can hear it. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm gonna keep going and continue on and see if, if there is one. At, so people were saying there is one at 255. I don't know if that's, I don't, there's another one at 255. I don't know if there's even any evidence that, to back that up. Um, I will keep going and trying and, and to see if there is one. Uh, but honestly, my game's probably gonna crash in the next like 10 minutes or so. Because the, cause the, the amount of playtime that I have is just about the amount of playtime that everyone has been crashing on. So, uh, actually, I, there, is there even a, is there even a point? Should I just, should I, should I just, uh, close my, uh, should I just close app? I, I, I feel like I should just close app. I'll just close app now. So it, the game doesn't count for leaderboards and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think we just I think we just because I don't want to get it I don't want to get it like obviously that one had already been solved and everything like that and that was nothing new. Uh, I think I, I think I'm just gonna close out because I, I I don't want I don't want to get another one in a not legit way. I want I want an actual high rounder to get it. So even if by some miracle my game didn't crash, I don't actually want to get it. So I'm just gonna close out. I'm just gonna close I'm gonna close out. I, I, I told you guys that's what I was going for and that's what I'm gonna stick to. That's what I'm gonna stick to. I don't I, I, I would rather somebody who legit gets to around 255 and there will be people who get to 255. I would rather it, 
I'd rather the world first to go go to somebody who gets a legit. I think that's I think that's the integrity driven thing to do is let somebody even if I somehow got really lucky my game never crashed. If there is another one at 255, I want someone to get their legit and I want to give them the satisfaction of beating it legit. And I don't want to I don't want to take that away from them. So, I'm, that's the that's the integrity thing. That's the integrity thing to do and that's what I'm going to do. Cool. All right, guys. So, uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have enjoyed the stream. Uh, that was the entire classified Easter egg. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I wanted to keep going. <laughs> the Rick Tuffin quote. Uh, thank you guys so much. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for coming out. I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed the stream and all that good stuff. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Um... And I will get that cutscene uploaded ASAP for you guys. Cool? All right, guys. Peace out. Adios. Goodbye. I love you. Smooches. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.